Well, hello everyone. How's everyone's Monday doing? How is it going? How is it running? How is it performing? How's everyone's Monday so far? Hopefully pretty good. I wonder if Jason has a uh, bucket nearby in case he throws up. Now, guys, if you did not see, I, I posted it on Twitter and in the Discord, but if you don't follow me there, awesome anyway. If you guys did not see, I got a pineapple pizza. It's thin crust, so people have told me that it's better. I did reheat it. That's not them, that was me. I reheated it a little too much. So it's a little crunchy on there, but the better the only reason i went and got pineapple pizza was because i saw that they had pineapple pizza and pineapple oh yeah you can't see that pineapple pepsi there you go now you can kind of see it so pineapple pepsi i have never had this i want to see i like fruit flavored uh cola so like dr pepper with strawberries or cherry coca-cola whatever you want to I like all that stuff, but I've never had pineapple Pepsi before. So there you are. We have pineapple Pepsi and a pineapple pizza. This part I'm not so sad about, or I'm not, I'm not so excited about. I am sad about that one. Oh, what's new? Nothing much. Got through the weekend, played a little bit of games, hung out with my family, you know, went to the movies, kind of did all that kind of stuff. Hopefully you guys had an awesome, awesome weekend as well. Uh, shiny red flag says I prefer crunchy thin crust. I like my crust like thicker. So, but people have told me pineapple pizza with a thin crust is better. So we're gonna find out today. Let me let me see. I got this one. It's it's cooling down as we speak. So let me take a big bite out of this one. Ah. Yep. Still. <laughs> That's not a throw up. That was a, a cough because I got I got dry crumbs in my throat. Not a throw up. It's just not good. I'm not a fan. No. It's not good. And it's not just pineapple. There is ham on there. There's like slices of ham. Let me get another let me get another piece so we can kind of see the ham. Can you see the ham on that one? Kind of, yeah, you can see the ham right there. There is, it's a ham and it's a traditional Hawaiian pizza. So, uh, it's not good though. I'm still not a fan of it. Oh, not a fan of it at all. Now, I will say that is 10 times better than the anchovy monstrosity we had. What was it last year? Oh my God. Anchovy monstrosity was terrible. It had anchovies pineapple broccoli uh artichoke it was disgusting it had onions on it i think it was just a mismatch of nastiness that was disgusting i cannot do anchovies anchovies i figured out are not my thing i am not an anchovy person but i mean is it terrible yeah kind of yeah i still don't prefer it this is not not good pizza it's not good at all but I'm not going to vomit eating this thing. Yeah. I'm not going to vomit. It's not bad. I mean, not that bad. It's not vomit inducing bad. It's just not good. Hmm. Yeah. I don't like the sweetness. The sweetness with the, the pizza. That's just not what... I don't like it. I don't like the 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 sweet citrusy taste with the uh crust and the meat i'm just not like that ah. anchovies are the devil's fave dude yeah scar texas jason are you sure it was anchovies they look like slugs they dude they did i think i have a picture of it still let me see if i can get a picture of it i have it on my phone i think let me see i'm looking I know I took a picture of it. I shared a picture of it. I just don't have it like in my records and like I should. I wanted to get rid of it. Oh, no, there you go. Let me see. So if you guys can see, oh, let me unplug this thing. That was the, oh, you're not gonna be able to see that. Oh, no. I can probably get that up there. That way you guys can enjoy it as much as I do. 
Let me share that with myself. Oh. Yeah, that pizza's not good. The pineapple pizza is just not good. Um. Yeah, na, 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 na. There we go. That way you guys can see the disgusting pizza we ate last year. It was terrible. But the other thing I wanted to try is this actually might be good. So, again, I'm into, I like flavored, uh, fruit flavored cola, you know, cherry Coke. Again, like I said earlier, cherry Coke, cherry Dr. Pepper, strawberry Dr. Pepper is amazing, but I've never tried a uh, pineapple pe Pepsi before. So we're gonna get that, get the nice break it on this thing. Let me, let me get it in here. I've been shaking it up. So it might, this actually might be really bad, but let me look at this. Oh yeah. I get it away from my microphone. So if it spills, it doesn't spill all over the microphone. All right. <laughs> it did not spill everywhere. Let's see. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely if you did not even, if I just drank a random soda, you didn't tell me what it was, you could tell that's pineapple. Wow, that's pineapple. Okay. That is intense pineapple flavor. Goodness. Wow. Okay. I don't know if I like pineapple in a cola. I mean, it's not bad, not even close to as bad as the pizza. I could drink this. I wouldn't, I wouldn't turn it down. Like if it's the only thing you had to drink, I would say, okay, but I'm not gonna like go out and look for it. Hmm. Oh, it's, yeah, it's definitely not my favorite. Oh, all right. All right, let me get this. All right, so if you wanna see the monstrosity, Better with vodka? It might be uh, ricey. It might be a good, like, fruity vodka. I mean, it's not bad. It, there's no mistaking. It has a really strong, intense pineapple flavor on the beginning. And then you can kind of taste the Pepsi underneath it. And then after, uh, after it's gone, you get a pineapple aftertaste. So you have a pineapple. It's very strong on the pineapple flavor. Oh, not my favorite, but not bad. Not, I mean, the pineapple pizza. I'm going to try to get the, the non-pineapple side. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay. Yeah. No, not a pineapple pizza fan. Matthew Hayes with the super chat. Thank you so much, Matthew. He's saying, hey, Jason, I was wondering what you think of the brain emoji that was posted on Sean's Twitter. What do you think it means for an update? The brain emoji was probably for the last one, wasn't it? So if you're talking about the uh, previous update, that was for singularity. I don't think uh, Sean Murray posted a brain this time. Let me look. Yeah. No new emojis from Sean as of right now. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything from Sean Murray. So the brain emoji was the singularity. That was the expedition that we just had. That's what you're thinking of. And so that is literally the emoji that we just had. Uh, Dr. Pong with the super chat. Thank you so very much, Dr. Pong, saying hello from Hollywood. Pineapple pizza is blasphemy. I agree with you 100%. Dr. Pong, I agree with you. This is blasphemy, but... In order to get, you know, in order to try this out, I had to buy one of these. I mean, I don't think, I I think that they would have given me one of these if I would have bought it from them. However, they had some deal where it was $10 for a, 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 a pineapple pizza and you get a free Pepsi pineapple. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll do that. So, uh, not the best, but again, if you like pineapple, this is a really good soda. I'm just not a big fan of, uh, a pineapple cola. It doesn't taste as good. Like, I want a, a berry flavor. A cherry, a strawberry, 
I like those kind of sodas. This one, it's a pineapple soda. Eh, it's okay. It's really intense. Oh my God. That is a really intense pineapple flavor. Ugh. All right, guys. And remember, let me, I was going to do this earlier. This was a monstrosity that made me vomit. So if you missed it, I will prepare yourself. This pizza looks disgusting. So just keep in mind, this pizza looks gross and it tasted even worse than it looks. Oh God, it's all the way all over the place. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm, I'm going to throw up just looking at this thing. Oh God. All right. So I got, look at this terrible, look at that terrible pizza. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this thing. That's an anchovy. Just a big old hunk of anchovy they slapped on this pizza. It was disgusting. So it had pineapple. You can kind of you can kind of see a little bit of the pineapple right there. It had broccoli. It had artichoke. It had onions. It, it had anchovies on it. Yeah. So this pizza was disgusting. This one made me vomit. I cannot eat that pizza ever again. That's never going to happen. And I figured out that I am not a big fan of uh, anchovy. Anchovy is not my not my thing. Whoa, it's bad. I did warn you. I did warn you. I did. Looks like garbage topped on a pizza, dude. Steve, it looked, it tasted like garbage on a pizza. It was so bad. <laughs> it was so disgusting. It was the worst. So after eating that monstrosity, this is not so bad. <laughs> Just a regular pineapple pizza with a little ham on it. That's nothing. That is nothing. But seriously, thank you guys so very much for the super chats earlier. It was funny watching Debs. <laughs> it was painful doing it, but it was for a good cause. We got to... 15,000 followers over on Twitch. So, of course, we had to have that pizza. All right. All right. Um, why is my uh, my thing not popping here? Um, let me back out of there. My, uh, my, uh, my Streamlabs is not updating. Come on, Streamlabs. Why you get it? Why you do this to me? Get me in here for a second. And today we're going to we're going to keep continue. Let me spit all over my microphone. We're going to continue with our extreme outlaw playthrough. Good lord, that was gross. All right, we're going to continue on with our extreme outlaw playthrough. Let me do this. We're going to log out, log back in, Streamlabs. Maybe that'll work. With YouTube, yes. Boom, boom, boom. I agree. Gotta let, gotta let Streamlabs get into your YouTube account. That way they can see who is, like, you know, it's, uh, super chatting, who is uh, becoming members, all that kind of stuff. All right, recent events. Sorry, guys, I'm going through and making sure all this stuff is all ready to go. Why are we not seeing super chats, I wonder? There we go. Joseph, wait a minute. Joseph Jolton, thank you so very much for becoming a member. You're now a fellow traveler on the channel. I saw you earlier, 07 to you, Joseph. I'm gonna call you Joe, just to make my life a little bit easier. Joe, thank you so very much. If you if you hate that, let me know. Don't You don't have to super chat or anything. Just let me know in the comments, and I will not do that. Uh, I've eaten at Rocky Rec uh, Rocco, Rococo here, and that uh, place sucked. I have no idea what Rocky Rococo is. Um, I all you smart and good-looking chat people. Raby, you're awesome. Uh, Easy says, that look like a Google uh, Pixel phone. Does it overheat easily? No, actually, I do. I have a, a six uh, Google six pixel six. And so it's a bit older. I like it. It works just fine for me. <laughs> so no overheating. But I mean, I'm not in, I'm not an intense like I don't do mobile games and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm, if you're playing Call of Duty on mobile or anything like that, it probably does heat up. But I don't I don't game very much on there. I, I use it for phone calls 
and for text messaging <laughs> and for photos, of course. Uh, Jason orders a pizza called the Hawaiian from Papa John's. Dude, I have not ordered a Papa John's in forever, Tech Center. The thing I remember about Papa John's is they have the really good, like, garlic sauce. Oh, my God. Papa John uh, garlic sauce is amazing. Uh, Captain Steve says, pineapple is not a food. It's a poison. Makes my eyes shrink into my skull. My mouth shrivel up <laughs> and full on body to twitch like I'm a body popping. I hate it. Oh, I like pineapple on its own. Like, as a, a fruit, if you just slice up pineapple and let me eat it, I'll eat it. But I don't, I just don't like it on a, on a pizza. It just doesn't belong. It's like, you know, it just doesn't, the, the combination is not good. It's not good. All right. With all that being said, let's get in here. We have our um, Extreme Outlaw. Um, oh, I need to rename it right here. I believe it's right here. Yeah, it is our more current, uh, save. So let's pop into our extreme outlaw. Now that we've, we spent the first 20 minutes kind of doing the pizza thing. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm just going to drink some, I need some water. Water. Ah, that's better. All right. I am going to drink that soda. It's not bad. Again, it's not terrible, but it's very pineapple-y. So if you like pineapple flavor, try that soda. You probably like it. All right. First thing we're going to do when we get in here, we're going to re we're going to rename our save. That way, I remember it. Extreme Outlaw. There we go. And then, uh, Debbie says, ever tried pineapple crumble? I love that dessert. I have not. Mm, maybe. I actually might have. I just don't know it yet, maybe. Look at that terrible, terrible shuttle. Okay, so it is an A class, and we have some really good, you know, upgrades in here. So we will keep that if we find another ship, like if someone decides to land for us. We'll be able to trade it out for something better, hopefully. All right, what are we what are we doing here? I didn't even I don't even know what we're doing here. We can't follow the storyline. Um, oh yeah, we're on a uh, we're on a uh, corrupted planet, so we're trying to find a uh, either uh, a camp or something like that. That way we can we might be able to get a good multi tool. So that's what we were trying to do. So the way you would do that is if you're looking for an encampment, you have to get a chart. I mean, you can't just fly. What the heck? That guy's freaking out. You freaking out, man. There he goes. Okay. You have to find. I mean, you can't just fly low and look for a camp. However, you can also just get a chart from these little machines. Inverted mirror. We don't need that. So we're going to leave that alone. If you're looking for one of those. It says uh, echo chart, an echo locator. Get that sentinel ship. Yep, we got to do that. Definitely got to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to fly around a little bit, see what we can find. We don't have any launch fuel. Okay, we're going to have to do that as well. Oh, we're heading towards water. Water is not good. What is this? That's a big old rock that looked like a uh, planetary archive for a second. I was like, oh, look at that. It's like really smooth. Okay, there we go. It loads in a little bit. There it is. Your ship looks like a commercial air conditioner unit with a stubby wings. Almost, yeah. Yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> with my little wings on the side. They just duct taped some wings to it and called it a ship. <laughs> uh, you really can't find anything in the water, so we're going to have to skip the water. That's fine. Let's get up here. And let's fly to the other side. That way we can just get some water going. And boom. Eh, that's a landmass. Okay, we'll do it. We'll do that. This is a good landmass. Uh, he's freaking out. You're freaking out, man. He's freaking out. Uh, Captain Steve says, if you trade that in for something worse, 
I would be shocked. That is like the Robin Reli Reliant Robin. <laughs> hey, it does not tip over as easy, uh, Captain Steve. But I mean, yeah, it definitely, ugh, it's definitely front heavy. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can find something good around here. I mean, I'll look for an encampment, but if we, cause I, you need a, uh, you need an advanced mining beam in order to get your radiant shards and that you need those to get your ship. So we definitely need an advanced mining beam. I can't go talk to an alien and buy one cause they would rat me out cause I'm an outlaw. So I have to find one on my own. And in general, if you go to like a, uh, if you go to a sentinel, uh, pillar, or if you go to like a, uh, an encampment, there might be a multi-tool that has one there. That's kind of like why we were there waiting. There is one right here. Please give me an echo locator. This one has a inverted mirror. Dang it. That's an inverted mirror. There's a building over here. Let's see what this building is. If I landed that far away, like 200 feet away from a, uh, a ship, I'll be so mad. <laughs> I'll be like, come on! <laughs> Who else here loves pineapple? Professor Cynical! Now, do you like pineapple pizza or do you like, oh, there you go. We could use this. Or do you like just pineapple by itself? Because I like, I love pineapple on its own as a fruit. I love eating slices of pineapple. I don't like it on my pizza though. It's just not good. And... I'm not a big fan of it in soda either. In general, I like fruit, you know, flavored sodas, like a cherry or a, a strawberry or whatever, but pineapple soda is just not my thing, I don't think. Yeah, it's not bad. It definitely has a, that has a really intense pineapple flavor. Wow. That is some intense pineapple flavor, seriously. We need a carbon nanotube. We're gonna need a uh, antimatter housing. We need more oxygen. Okay, we need more oxygen. We also need some, uh, oh, we have some sodium nitrate. So we're good on that. Oxygen, where are you? Um, Nothing around here. So we gotta look for deadly plants. Oh God, don't do that. I want the, I want this stuff. Pineapple pizza, pineapple fruit, but I absolutely draw the line at pineapple Pepsi. You have mad, man. I mean, some people, like, I love strawberry Dr. Pepper. It's really, really good. I love it. I don't know if you have that over there in, in Europe, but, man, strawberry Dr. Pepper is amazing. But, yeah, for whatever reason, a citrus... Citrus-flavored uh, cola is just not working for me. I mean, maybe it's just the pineapple. Maybe it's just too much. Maybe it's the combination of pineapple and Pepsi. I don't know, but that soda is just not doing it for me. Um, uh, pineapple, chunks of ham, bacon, and red onion. Oh my, nope, that's too much. That's too much. If I get a pizza, I, I like a whole bunch of meat. Like I'll do bacon and ham and sausage on a pizza, but I'll do mushrooms, I'll do uh, olives. I love black olives. Now, the green olives, I am not a big fan of. Not a big fan of the green olive stuff. But you give me a black olive? Oh, I love those. I love those. Chris, thank you so much for the super chat, Chris. Very much appreciated. Let me go over here. That way I can see the everything. Okay, there, good. That way I don't miss anything. Thank you so very much. 07 for you, Chris. Ooh. Atlas Galactus is not even Jesus could skip the water, but he can really though. I mean, you just may never know. What are you talking about? What are we having phil philosophical debates in the uh, chat? I'm just here to play some uh, video games and eat some terrible pizza. There you are, Chris. Thank you so very much. Um, I'm trying to. There we are. These plants will give you oxygen. So look for the red exclamation point. Now, you can grab that little uh, oxygen out of there. There you go. See? But you have to be at a certain distance. If you get too close, it snaps on you. You got to be real careful. It's easier to get the exploders. They are easier to pick. Versus these guys. These guys are hard to pick. Come on. Yeah, see? up. Oh, see? It's so freaking hard. You got to get the right angle. You can't be too close or else they snap on you. Open up. 
There you go. Give me, give me, the, give me the gassy pod. Okay, fine. Screw you. I'm just gonna destroy him and get his oxygen that way. You get double the oxygen because you can get his little, uh, his little uh, oxygen pod, and you can get oxygen from him. Oh, storm coming. And picks the snappers from the side. Try, try. I'm just terrible at it. Um, where's my? Here it is. So we should have enough oxygen. Wait a minute, let me check before I decide to go back there and try. Yeah, we do. Housing right there, beautiful. I think we're good. So we have our housing. We have our uh, what's it called? Our we have the housing there. We have our nanotube and sodium nitrate. There we go. And we don't have a lot of upgrades right now, so I'm not, I'm not worried about that. I'm going to worry about the weird holes in my inventory, my cargo. Uh, no, Jason, you are not terrible. The game just cheats. Well, yeah. <laughs> I, I, my gut always tells me that's what it is, but, you know, I like to, I like to just make sure 100% that it's just them and not me. Give me one of the... Oh, nope. The only one. Give me that. Finally on lunch, having a meatball sub. Dude, Catherine, that sounds really good. I'm having pineapple pizza, which is not very good at all. Ah. It doesn't help that the snappers have ridiculous range. They do. They do. So I'm not a big fan of those. Hmm. Corrupted drone. Let's go see. Maybe this, this resonator has a, uh, what's it called? A inverted mirror on it. Or not an inverted mirror. A echo locator. Hmm. Sorry, talking with my mouth full. I'm spitting everywhere. That's why I have my, my microphone. That's half the reason why I have my microphone um, cover on. That way when I spit, it doesn't hit my microphone. Inverted mirror. That's not what we want. Looks like there's one over here. Oh, we already checked this one. That's why we landed over here. So this one's not a good one either. Inverted mirror. We're looking for an echo locator chart. We already did that uh, drop pod. So let's get away from these uh, these guys. We need to get some launch fuel going. So I will be looking for dihydrogen and also get some of this uh, awesome stuff here. There we go. Let's scan that. Hawaiian pizza all day. No, Captain General. No, it's not good. I see 34% of you say you love it. 34% of you are crazy. I am not a fan of pineapple pizza at all. And I've tried like different versions. I've tried it from different places. So it's not like I've eaten like one bad pineapple pizza from one place that was just terrible. No, I've tried multiple, multiple because my wife likes pineapple pizza. She eats it. I'm like, ah, no, not for me. Not for me. So just gross. Uh, Jason, uh, this comes from Hall XW. says, Jason, do you know how to do the uh, free cam on your ship? Like uh, when you did examining the front of your shuttle. Would love to know how to do it on PC. The free cam. Oh, I don't know how to do it on uh, on PC, but for me, because I play on PC with a controller, I just use my thumbstick. So that's generally how I do it. If you're talking about when we fly around and... I, I can kind of look around on my ship. If you're talking about like like this, yeah, I, I just I I use a controller on my uh, my thing. But let's see, let's see, can I do it like this? I can't. I can't. I'm trying to use mouse and keyboard right now. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think so because I'm moving my mouse. Nothing's happening. Yeah, I don't know if you can. I I don't know how to do it on a mouse and keyboard. I just, I, cause I, again, I use my, oh my God, my, my controller is tangled up. All right. I use a controller. 
So I, I have, and I have James. I have my, uh, my Starfield controller. Look at that beauty. Look at that. I love this thing. It looks so cool. And I do have a headset. I only use it when I play on my, uh, my Xbox because my stream setup is kind of messed up. And if I do wireless headsets, there's a delay and I hate it. Anyway, let's make some uh, fuel. Uh, we need more dihydrogen and one metal plating. Okay. There's some dihydrogen up here. Beautiful. Don't wear it out before September. Oh, Watto, I know. That's what I'm afraid of. But I, I generally only use it whenever I'm playing on PC. And so I've been playing a lot of Diablo on Xbox. And when, with my Diablo, I have... I'm crazy. I have multiple controllers. Like, I mean, I literally have a drawer. I have a drawer with controllers. I have my blue one. I got my red one. I got my Xbox anniversary one. So I have multiple controllers that I use. I generally only use this one whenever I'm playing like on stream for, you know, when I'm playing No Man's Sky. But yeah, I have tons of controllers in a, in a drawer right next to me. Because I'm weird. I need to have, it's like, I don't know if you guys have the same, the same weirdness that I have. It's probably some kind of a, a sign of a mental illness, probably. But I love a fresh controller. Nothing feels better than a brand new controller. And it only has that feeling for a few months. I know I'm crazy. And it still works. Don't get me wrong. It's not like it's broken or anything. It just doesn't feel as crisp as when you first start playing with it. And so after, you know, a couple of months, maybe like four or five months, it starts to feel like not, not, as, not as crispy as when you first get it. And it's the same thing. I do the same thing with socks. I don't know if you guys, it's a weird illness. I, I, I guarantee you it's a weird mental thing, but whenever I get brand new socks, they feel, they feel more thick. They feel like they're, they're tighter. They're, they're more snug on your feet. I love brand new socks. They are my favorite thing. And after you wear them after a while, they kind of get broken in and that's fine. And they're still good. But they don't have that snugness. They're not as thick because you've been wearing them, so the bottom kind of flattens out a little bit. It's just, it's a weird illness, I'm sure. But I love that. And it's the same thing for controllers. It just feels like they work better. They're, they, they're, the sticks are tighter. Everything is just perfect on a new controller. And after you break it in, I mean, it works, but it just doesn't feel the same. It's weird. Ah, uh, new socks feel stiff. That's what I like about them, Scar. They're really snug on your feet, so they feel like they're hugging your feet. It's like a hug for your foot. It's good. It's nice. Uh, you need a pineapple-shaped controller covered by sock fabric. <laughs> no! Well, no! Why would you do that? I might be, I might agree with you on the sock fabric, but not the pineapple. Come on. <laughs> Why are you going to do that to me? Uh, oh, dang it. Trying to get a whole bunch of the dihydrogen so I can make launch fuel. We also need ferrite dust because we need metal plating. And I saw an inverted mirror over here. So let's see if we can get a echo chart. Now, if we find a sentinel pillar, that would help us a ton because we can just destroy all the, all the, uh, all the sentinels while we're running around. Did I get anything good from that? Nanites. Okay, I mean, it's not like nanites are bad. I just prefer something else. Inverted mirror. Come on. All right. So all of these are inverted mirrors. There is another one over here. I think. Yeah, I don't think I've tested this one, have I? Yeah, I might have missed this one. We were talking about pineapple and uh, and socks, so I, I missed it over here. Uh, Jason wants pineapple socks. No! Gross! No pineapple socks. That's gross. Oh, just it feel wet now. Inverted mirror. Okay, that's not one either. So let's get some... Uh, I think we have a lot of ferrite dust in our ship, so we should be okay. I will say, uh, dihydrogen is really hard to come by, so maybe we'll fly around a little bit and we'll farm some materials. 
A sock-shaped pineapple? No. No! Pineapple and, and socks don't go together. Socks are not edible. Oh, no. <laughs> I do not want to eat a sock. That's terrible. That's terrible. All right. Jason, I'll P.O. Box use some fine British cotton pineapple socks. Just for cotton pineapple? That is a th I'm going to look that up, uh, Professor. I'm going to look that up. Are, is that a thing? Do you guys have cotton pineapple? No. All right, let's do launch fuel, launch fuel. There we go. Now we have one as a backup. Oh, we have all this stuff. There we go. All right, so now we're, we're gonna keep looking, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna look and also shoot the freaking ground to get some materials here. This thing sucks, but yeah. If you're talking about this free camera, that is because I'm using a controller, so I have a literal thumbstick to do that. I don't know what it is on uh, on on PC. Maybe someone already answered it in chat and I just didn't see it. I don't know, but it is just n I don't know what to do on PC for that. Um, come on. We do have a storm coming in, so I'm not going to be able to see very much. That is a lot of oxygen right there. And I'm going to be landing here. Nope, don't need you. They can't get me if I'm not in my ship. Ha ha! I was going to get this oxygen anyway. <laughs> I was considering it, but they uh, forced my hand on that. Uh, they convinced me with the uh, enemy scan, the pirate scan. Pineapple fiber socks. Okay. I'm going to have to check those out. If you guys, are, I don't know if you guys are messing with me. I don't know. Uh, welcome to the uh, perfect vid starter idea for Professor Cynical. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? I was eating some socks for breakfast this morning, and that got me thinking, no. <laughs> yeah, making your life choices, Bob. Like, oh. You know, you wake up, have a, have a cup of coffee, cup of joe with some socks. No. No. Not a fan of that. Look at this. We're going to get over 700. We're going to get close to 1,000 oxygen by the time this is all done. Yeah, look at that. We're at 800. 900 oxygen out of that patch. That's a good one. That is a good patch. Uh, can I put a save beacon? Oh, I can't. I don't have a save beacon. Dang it. I was going to say, I'll put a save beacon here. That way people can come over and farm a whole bunch of oxygen. I think uh, left alt is for free look. Oh, really? Oliver, let me let me get in there. Left alt. Let me get my ship and I'll, I'll test that out real fast. Right now on the fly. Literally. Okay, left alt. <gasps> That's right, that is true! Okay, so you have to hold down left alt if you're on keyboard and mouse, and then you can use your mouse to kind of free free look. Now, this is another reason why I like using a controller, because I don't have to hold down like five buttons to do something. I have a stick for this. <laughs> so yeah. So left alt, there you go, buddy. Thank you, that's awesome. That worked very, very well. Agreed. Next video opening. <laughs> no. Save the date. Despite its exterior, pineapple is a symbol of welcome and hospi hospitality. Uh, this dates from the 17th century when American colonists braved a dangerous trade route to import pineapple from the Caribbean. Oh, I did not know that. I mean, I'm not against pineapple. Pineapple's good. I just don't like it in combination. Like, they, everyone tries to put it in everything. And you're like, eh. just like cranberry. I think cranberry is good, but when they put everything with cranberry, you're like, okay. I mean, I get it, but why mix everything with cranberry? Just make cranberry. That's fine. Ah, woo. And it is very sugary. Or I should say, very sweet. Wow. Ah. 
Like, in general, whenever I drink a cola, I drink, like, Coca-Cola because it has more of a tart flavor to it. Pepsi has more of a sweet flavor, at least to me. And so, if you're into that, it works, but... Oh, it's, it's Pepsi, which is already sweet, mixed with pineapple, which is sweet more, you know, more sweet. So it's just very, very sweet. Let me do this. There we go. Let's see, are you gonna give me some uh, echo locator? Have you named your ship yet? I have not, Dylan, I have not. So maybe we'll do a poll and see what the name of the ship should be. I mean, I will be trading out the shuttle because it kind of sucks and I can use it. It has a high value because it's an A class and it has a decent amount of room in the inventory. So I could trade it for something better. If we find a solar ship, that would be really, really good. That would help out a ton. Solars are really good for fuel efficiency, so I don't have to keep refueling it constantly. Echo locator, that's what we've been looking for. So, do I have a weapon? Um, I don't. I have a weapon upgrade. Can I make a weapon? That's the question. I need more chromatic metal, you guys. All right, do I have chromatic metal in my ship? That's the, that's the other question. I do not have chromatic metal in my ship. So we need some, you know what? Oh yeah, we probably should, oh my God. We probably should have gotten a weapon. I thought maybe it would be faster than this. Oh geez, oh God. Okay, we have to get this thing. That way we can get a, a, our echolocator. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up before I get murdered. Before I get murdered, let's go, let's go. Oh geez, not a good idea. All right, done. Get the heck out of here. Run away and look for some copper. I mean, I have copper. We should just uh, maybe refine it when I'm in a better spot. <laughs> Gotta refine that copper. All right. Ship plus light yellow equals a pineapple starship. Hey, we. On our first uh, outlaw run, we had a pineapple. We had a, a solar pineapple ship. <laughs> and echolocator again. Oh, geez. Now all the echolocators show up when I'm in the middle of a battle. Come on. Don't murder me, please. I'm just trying to get an echolocator and run away. Come on. All right. We got two echo locators, which is really, really good. There's a beacon over there. We can't really use that. That'll give us the location of a uh, of a settlement, but we don't need that. So we can't go to a settlement anyway. We don't need the uh, aliens ratting us out. Okay. All righty. Where's my ship? Let's go. Seen that South Park episode where Paris Hilton does something with a pineapple? Oh, Lord. I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. I, I did not see that one, Dr. Fong. But I do not want to know. What the heck? This is an animal? Is the animal stuck inside that thing? Look at that. What is this animal? I guess it's stuck inside the uh, the thing there. Okay. Give me some more of these. There we go. I just just thought about that. Oh my god! Yeah, we have we have three stacks of four stacks of oxygen. Good lord! All right, that's a bit much. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we can make our weapon, so let's do this. While I'm here, we'll refine some of our copper into iron or chromatic metal. Let's look around for any cool stuff. Wait a minute. Do you think that'll give me anything? Let's see. 
This is going to be an echo chart. Uh, Apollo says Hawaii, uh, Hawaiian wasn't on the menu way back in 1889 when pizza was invented in, in Napoli. In Napoli. Uh, but doesn't mean that it isn't worthy. Imagine if nobody decided to add adhesive to paper. That's true. It's just, it's just, it's, to me, it is an unnecessary combination. I mean, there are plenty of newer flavors that they could mix, like bacon being on pizza. I love that. Crunchy bacon on a pizza is really good. But, but, pineapple just doesn't work for me. It's just not working for me. Not saying it's wrong, just that the people who eat it are wrong. <laughs> All right. Let's get this. We have enough? I think we need a hundred, don't we? Yeah, we need a hundred and, and uh, three nanotubes. We can make the three nanotubes. Let's do that. So we have the nanotubes ready to go. We just need the chromatic metal. And now we have a we have a weapon. So now I can actually shoot and defend myself, thankfully. I have a little bit of uh, cash. The fact is, there's always room for improvement, and, like, uh, pineapple pizza is one innovation that deserves its place in history books. And on pizza's menus around the world. I don't know what you're talking about. You're going crazy there, Apollo. Source Pizza Hut. And now I question everything you just said, Apollo. Not the Pizza Hut is bad, but it's not good. Oh. I ate at plenty of Pizza Huts when I was a kid. But after growing up and being able to go out and, and see other pizza places, Pizza Hut is not on the top of my list. I like this red metal. I love all the metallic colored deposits. I love all this stuff. Look at that. That's a really cool looking, like an orangish red shine. Oh, it looks really good. I like that. I like the blue ones. The uh, indium is really, really good as well. Cobalt's okay. I'm only going to leave a little portion of that left just to drive someone crazy. Uh, Andrews has been lurking, just busy in the background. Hey, thank you, Andrew, for chatting. And don't feel obligated. If you guys just, I know, especially if you're working and stuff, don't get in trouble. You know, just, you know, put on the background. Listen to, I used to, um, when I worked overnight, uh, at, uh, at Walmart, I would pop on a, a stream in the background or at that time. Oh my God. That would have been. I popped on videos. I didn't, there was no streams back then when I was listening to them. But I would pop on a video. Like I would watch a, I would listen to a Let's Play while I was working and I would just have it on my headphones. And, you know, I, I would laugh and giggle and whatever. And I would pull out my phone whenever there was uh, something funny happening. Come on. What is this? Can I not see what it is? Come on. Okay, fine. But yeah, I would, uh, <laughs> back in the day when you had to, never mind. Never mind, I'm not going to say that. Not going to say that. When you had to, to save your videos from YouTube because we didn't have really good cell service. Uh, so you would save it when you got home on your internet because it, you didn't have to pay for your internet when you were at home, your Wi-Fi. Dun, dun, dun. But yeah, so you would do that, take it to work, and then all night long, you know, I'd listen to uh, a couple of episodes of uh, a cool Let's Play or something like that. That would be awesome. That's what I would do. No! Oh my god. I forgot we're playing on extreme. I can't call in my ship unless it's totally freaking full. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, we definitely need to get some upgrades going. Sadly, you can't do that anymore. Nope. No, no, no. Well, I mean, sadly, you can. Well, 
depending on your workplace. I don't know. Maybe your, your job does not allow it. Uh, but oh, wait, are you talking about Walmart? Did they stop letting you wear headphones on overnights? What? That was the only way we would live through that, man. Because I went through uh, when I first started Walmart way back in the day. They were not open 24 hours a day. They would close, I think, at 10 p.m. And they'd open at 5 a.m. Back when I first started. And then they went to 24 hours, which was awesome for customers. It sucked for us. But it also kind of broke up the monotony because when I first started, we would close at 10. And then it was just all of us workers. And so they didn't care. As long as you got your, your job done, you can listen. We had guys bring in big boom boxes and they would listen to cassette tapes and CDs. But uh, we, they didn't care. But as soon as we were open 24 hours a day, then it was like, no, 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 you can't do any... You can't bring in your boombox. You can wear headphones. You had to wear headphones because the music would, would might be inappropriate. And so we went through that when we opened to 24 hours. And then, I mean, I haven't worked at Walmart in over a decade at this point. But uh, when I right before I left, they were going back down to uh, closing at night. At least my local one did. And I, I'm sure during the pandemic, during lockdowns in 2020, they all were shutting down at night, so I'm sure they're back to that again. Uh, wearing headphones at work is a fire hazard. You can't hear the alarm, apparently. Oh, Scar, really? They, well, maybe they just didn't care about us. <laughs> they didn't care. We had, we literally had guys who would bring in a boom box and they would be blasting that thing. You'd put it down, you're working like in uh, you work in grocery department, you're stocking all the shelves. You put it down in your aisle and you're blasting it, dude. <laughs> yeah, we were just constantly doing that. So, yeah, I mean, it makes sense if it's a fire hazard. But uh, they didn't back in the day. They didn't care. They did not care back in the day. Or maybe it was just my local Walmart. I have no idea. <laughs> maybe it was just a local thing. Oh, uh, The Rock said recently on Twitter, keep in mind, I'm the guy who likes to put tequila and brown sugar in my oatmeal. So pineapple on pizza is my... Yeah, because uh, he's crazy. He's crazy. Tequila and brown sugar in oatmeal? Why would you... First of all, that might be a sign you have a problem, Rock. <laughs> I need tequila first thing when I wake up in the morning. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, do what you got to do. I would never tell you not to because, I mean, it's your life. Enjoy your life how you want. But dang, dude, a tequila oatmeal. Wow, I never even thought of that. Woo, okay. <laughs> That's some intense oatmeal. Uh, for crying out loud, Poxy, the name of the game is Destroy All Humans. Yes, not play some stupid record and keep the kids off the drugs. Destroy All Humans too. Yeah. Uh, breakfast of champions seriously yeah obviously i mean if <laughs> the rock is in way better shape than i'll probably ever be and so he's doing something right maybe i need to start doing some tequila and oatmeal in the morning maybe i'll get in i mean i gotta do the work too and that's the, that's the part i don't like <laughs> it's always hard to wake up and exercise for that long you know to get that kind of a body because i mean he puts in hard work man so I'll give it to him on that. But seriously, tequila and oatmeal. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah, we have an echo. Duh, let's use it while we're here. Echo chart. Come on. Let's see. Where's our uh, Where's our camp? Harmonic camp. Where you at? Right here, huh? I was flying right by it. Imagine that! I was like literally right next to it. Jason does 1k presses of the uh, the iron um, keys a day. <laughs> exactly. Dude, no way. Uh, tech Center says, Jason, did you know that pineapple pizza was originally invented in Canada in 1962? I knew it was Canada, but I did not know it was 1962. I, I knew it was from Canada and they, they wanted to uh, basically throw all the Hawaiian people under the bus. It's like, really? Because like, I have Hawaiian family and none of them, none of them eat Hawaiian pizza. You could eat like a burger with some pineapple on it. You even like, they make teriyaki with pineapple in it. Okay, but 
pineapple pizza? What is that? You start blaming Hawaiian people for that? Come on. <laughs> I don't think they're blaming Hawaiian people for that. But, you know, it's just like, really? You're just gonna you're just gonna throw that on us? Come on. Um, Exosuit expansion slot, I'll take that. Uh dun, dun, dun. oh shoot, we have a whole bunch of uh jellies, so let's do this. There we go, and then let's get some health uh life support gels. Here we go. There we go, now we got some life support gels, now we're doing good. All right, do you think we got a uh, advanced mining beam on here? I hope so. Oh, it's a pistol. I hate those. I want the rifle, not the pistol, but okay. I'm not going to be picky if it has some good stuff on it. I'll take it if it's good. My mom like putting pineapple in her hand, on her hands. Dude, I've, I've eaten pineapple on ham. Uh, again, not my favorite. I like a savory, not a sweet ham. I want a savory ham. But I've had pineapple on ham. It's decently good. Uh, all right. Ooh. Now I'm just trying to drink it to get rid of it. Oh, yeah. We need to we need to see our memory registers. 1, 7, 12. Let's see. Let's see what this is. Give me a mining beam, an advanced mining beam. It has, it's a B class and it has a supercharged slot. However, uh, it doesn't have any upgrades. It just has a laser. It has a scanner and it has an analysis visor. It doesn't have any weapons on it. I think it's better than the one I have. So I'll, I'll take it for now. I'll take it for now. I'm not going to trade it. I'm just going to take it. Now let's locate that spike. Let's see what our uh, ship looks like on this planet. Uh, there's my answer. What are you guys talking about? I prefer it without a uh, pineapple. Hey chat, did Jason get an advanced mining beam yet? Nope, got to, not yet. Got some pineapple pizza though. Look at that disgusting pineapple. Not, not bad. Double mining beam, scar. We should do that. We should do that. Hmm. It's just, I'm not a big fan of it. It's not bad. It's not like vomitous or anything. It's just not good. Hmm. Disgusting as he, well, I mean, I paid for it. I'm eating it as, you know, because I paid money for it. <laughs> now, if it was truly bad and I was vomiting, then I would be like, no, nope, I'm not doing it. But I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it's not, not terrible. It's bad, but not terrible. And that ham is actually really good. I'm actually liking that ham. You can taste that ham. It has like a really good flavor on it. Maybe it's just because I don't like the pineapple, so I like the the ham makes it just taste better because I I'm comparing it to the pineapple. Maybe I don't know. Where did you turn in all your findings in the game? I remember I did it once, but I forgot where. Oh, Tech Jericho. Press pause. Go over to your discovery tab right here, and it'll tell you what planet you're on right now. But you can back up a little bit, so hit B if you're on Xbox or O if you're on PlayStation. And here's where all of your finds are. And you can go to each one, like if you went to a specific planet like this, and you could turn in each individual one. Like if you want to uh, rename an animal, you could totally do that and then upload it and it'll pay you for it. Or if you're lazy like me, you can just upload everything right here, right there, the little arrow on the outside of your uh, chart. Just upload all and done right there, beautiful. There you go. And that's how you would do that if you want to. I mean, again, you can go through and you, if you want to rename your animals and your rocks and your your trees, you could totally do that. Oh, look at this one. This might be a cool looking ship. 
It's a, ooh, it's like a red, a reddish pink. Look at this. What color is that? Okay, let's see. Let's see, what color is this? It's a red. Okay, I thought it was a pink. I was going to say, yeah. I mean, it's still good. Not terrible. All right. I mean, I can't do anything with it because I can't get a uh, radiant shard. Hey, come on. Can I not? Can I not get in my ship here? What are you doing here? Is it not here? It won't even let me interact with this thing. Come on! Is my multiplayer on? Do I have to turn off my multiplayer? No, turn that off. That's probably what it was. Dang it! I had my multiplayer turned on. That's why I can't get this freaking ship. Dang it. I can't even tell. Is it a good one? Let's see. I can't even tell. Abandoned object. What the crap? I don't even know. Is this an A class? Is this a C class? Wait a minute. That's my shuttle. Okay, never mind. I'm, I'm scanning my own shuttle here. Okay. It doesn't tell me. Come on. If this is an S class, I'll be so mad. Uh, reload. I probably should do that. Yeah. Okay, let's reload. I'm going to make a manual save real fast. Or a, uh, a restore point now, officially. Let's reload. Let's see what it is. I want to see what this is. If it's an S class, it'd be good. I can actually work for this. If it's a C class, not a big deal. But I don't know. That's the problem. Yeah, you can reload. You just can't use it to exploit. So if you don't know what that means, if you go to a space station and you buy all the items there and then you reload, it'll automatically refill everything. So you can keep buying the same upgrade. If you find a really good upgrade, you can buy the upgrade, reload your game, buy another upgrade, reload, and you can keep doing it over and over again. That's what we mean by don't exploit. Don't like do a save reload. What is this? Why can't I get this thing? Oh man, well that's not cool. And it has the big old like tank treads on it. Well, we have to go find another one, I guess, cause this one just won't work for me. That's upsetting. That's upsetting. Walker Brain? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm going to take that. I will take Walker Brains out of there. All right. Well, that was a waste. That was a waste. And sometimes it glitches out like that. Sometimes you get unlucky, which sucks, but hey, such is life. All right, let's see. We'll use the other one, our other echo chart here. Let's see. Where's my, um, where's my echo? Okay, it's one minute away. That's closer than that other one, okay. Open the beacon and go back to it. It should work. What? Open the beacon? What beacon are you talking about? I don't see a beacon. I didn't see a beacon. So we know it's not there. It's over here on this ridge. I don't think they have beacons on uh, sentinel ships. I'm never going to find it again. Dang it, it's gone forever. So that is my uh, trading outpost. Yep. Oh, well, screw it. Oh, well, it's done. It's done. We'll, we'll check the next one if we need to. Let's go. Hopefully this multi-tool is better. Hopefully it has a, uh, a thing on it. Uh, Samuel says, quick question. I'm trying to build an indium mine with EMGs and I can't figure out how to connect the two bases with power. Is it still possible or did it get patched? As far as I know, it should still be possible. Remember, your base only goes for what? I think 300 or 600 uh, units. So you might need to pop down a base computer in between. 
So that was the old school trick that we used to do. You you find your electromagnetic, you know, your your electricity spot, and then your other your uh, your other like indium mine spot, and then you try to connect it. If they're too far away, you could put a uh, another base computer in the middle, and that way you can build in between them. As far as I know, they haven't patched that, but maybe they have. I haven't tested that in a long time, so that could have been fixed. Chat might know. 600 until diameter. Yep, 300 radius. There you go. Yep, it's 300 radius. So 600 from end to end. There we go. Holy macro. We don't need that. Don't need that. I'm just going to get rid of all my trash items. We can refine those into nanites. So that's what we will do. Just to get it out of my inventory. So let's pop that in there. There we go. And while that's cooking, let's get the, uh, the multi-tool. Uh, test. I am out of the timeout. What did you do to get timeout not a vampire? Don't tell me you were in timeout. No. What if you can change your appearance? Just make a character change. That's true. Uh, Delta one says you can extend it to 1000 if you'd like. There you go. Yeah, you can extend it up to 1000. So that is the other limitation. If you're if you're like indium deposit and your power is way too far away, like you cannot connect all the way across the planet. There is a limitation on distance. So you have to be, you have to be within a certain distance. I think it is one thousand. If I'm pretty sure you're correct on that. Uh, twelve minus five is seven. Twelve and two. Seven, twelve, two. Twelve, seven. There we go. One trick we used to use is the extension trick. Yes. Thanks, Chris. Uh, what did Chris say? Put a wooden panel to extend your base. Max is a thousand. There you go. Yeah, put you put it at the edge. It will extend out a little bit. I still need to use all caps. Oh, vampire. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Streamlabs will get you if you use all caps. Is this the same multi-tool? No, because the uh, the thing is in a different spot. But, I mean, it's the same setup. Maybe, yeah, it doesn't have one spot here. That's it. Oh, my God. Take the multi-tool. It has a supercharged slot. It's just it doesn't have an advanced mining beam. All right. Okay. So, we, need, we definitely need to organize our inventory a little bit better. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see. Wait a minute. Look, we're going to do this first. Make sure my network is off. Disabled. That way you guys can't steal the ship from me. I don't want you guys taking it while I'm looking. Uh, oh, thanks for the thumbs up and the subscribe. Guys, yes, yeah, seriously. Thank you guys so very much for all the likes. Hour uh, Over an hour in. If you want to help out the channel, hit that like button. Yep, we already have over 100 likes. You guys are freaking awesome. Thank you so very much. If you have not hit that like button yet, I would really appreciate it. If you did, that would help out the channel a ton. So we got two of the Sentinel multi-tools that are just okay. <laughs> not the best. Let's see if we can get an echo locator out of this thing. Uh, maybe? I can't even see what it is! Let's fire on it. There we go. Gotta aim way above it. <laughs> Gotta hit the fin. Wow, I don't do a dang lick of damage at all. Look at that. Look at that damage I'm not doing at all.
Come on. Inverted mirror. Okay, well, at least now I know. It's just an inverted mirror. Hopping at these guys over here. Let's see what this one is. Is it, uh, is it a good one? Are you not going to tell me? Inverted mirror again. Come on. 16 damage. There we go. Now we're getting warmer. That is an inverted mirror again. Look at that. These all, this one base is a whole bunch of uh, freaking machines around it. I like that. Echo locator, of course. The last one or the final one that I'm going to, I'm going to look at. That's the one that has the echo locator on it. Awesome. I got six bullets left. Uh, Scartex says, it does sound fun, but Jason turned off his multiplayer. Yes. So you guys can't come in and grief me. <laughs> I, uh, technically, the only reason I turned off my multiplayer was because I want to get that dang ship. And there's a problem when you're trying to pick up a ship. If you have multiplayer turned on, it has a really high chance of just disappearing. Because in multiplayer, you don't know who else is going to be here, and they can pick it up before you get there. Use the electric grenade for your multi-tool. That'll help destroy the corrupted sentinels. Oh, Atlas, I wish I had that. I don't have that. Because I am an outlaw. We don't have any cool upgrades yet. We're going to get there, though. Once I start getting some good stuff, it'll be great. That is... Is just a save beacon? Yeah, just a save beacon. Okay. I thought maybe that was a good ship location or something. All right, come on. Let me have this dang thing. I just want to see if it's a good one. If it's like an S-Class, I will fight for it. If it's just a piece of crap, then I don't care. But I can't care. Oh my god, there's a planetary archive right there. Good lord. I mean, it looks nice. I like the design of these uh, ships on this planet. I just wish it would uh come over. You know, let me get one. The Come on. Okay, light, get out of here. Five inverted mirrors. Are you serious? I'll take all that. If you want to give me some radiant shards, that would have helped out even more. Why is it? I had it for a second. I had it for a second. I saw it. It was something fire. Why are they not working? What is going on here? I just get the light. Hey, Cosmic. What's up? Uh, remember, you still need three radiant shards and an advanced mining beam to get it. I know, but if it's one of those deals where if I find a good one, I will actually do the work. If I'm having this repeated problem, I'm just going to go to a different system because this is ridiculous. I can't get any of these. Uh, place a save beacon next to the ship. I wish I had a save beacon, gunboat. I don't have a save beacon. I don't have anything. Look at that. I got nothing. Because I'm on an extreme uh, outlaw, so I have nothing. Let's, uh, let's just go all the way with this. Let's see. Yeah, it's just, it's just hitting the light. I just get in the light. I'm not getting anything else. I got a whole bunch of inverted mirrors. Uh, excavate underneath it and reload. Maybe. Let's try. Let's try. I mean, I'm willing to try anything at this point because it's just not working. Like, usually you get the, you know, maybe you're at a weird angle or something. I don't know. But, yeah, I have my multiplayer turned off this time. And it's still not working. I go underneath and pick it. Can I get it? Nothing. 
Yeah, I just get the light. I only get the light. That's it. I can't get the friggin' ship. And I can sit on it, but I'm not really... It's like it's not there. And if I look at it, it just says, Abandoned Object Light. <laughs> Why? All right, well, let's... Let's do this. We're going to get in. We're going to reload my restore point. Uh, reload it. It'll fall into the hole. I hope so, Glano. Got to. I've had that happen. Had to restart. I, you know what? If it doesn't work this time, we will do a hard restart. We will go all the way to desktop and restart from the, from the desktop. If we need to. Ooh. Ah. All right. Let's see. It did fall on the ground. It did go down. I'm still not getting it, though. Yeah, I'm still not getting it. What in the world? Why? Yeah, see, look at nothing. I get the light. That's all I can get. Even though I'm not even looking at the light, I get the light. All right. We're going to do a hard restart. We're going to go all the way to the desktop. All the way to the desktop. We're going to give it like 10 seconds. 10 seconds. And now we're going to load back in. Let's see. All right. It knows uh, you claim not to like pineapple. That might, maybe that's what it is, uh, Apollo. And I need to sacrifice myself by eating some more pineapple pizza. All right. Let's try. If it doesn't work, we're going to go to a different planet. Because I'm not going to waste my time if I can't get anything from here. Hmm. Scartech says, could it be due to a full inventory? I don't think so. I don't think so. There it is. There it is. Okay, it worked. It's a weird bug. It's a weird glitch. But we got it. We got it that time. But at this point, it's going to tell me, hey, you need some radiant shards, and I can't get that right now. Yeah, it'll tell me, hey, look, there's radiant shards right there. It's like, well, I can't get them. That's the problem. And I mean, it is a, uh, it's a B class. Oh, now it's not letting me get back in there. What? Why? Why won't it let me get back in there? Oh, geez. You know what? We might just let that one go. It's a B class. I'm not too worried about it. Let's go to a different system. Screw it. That scared me, Mark. Thank you so much, Mark, for the, uh, the super chat saying, isn't eating pineapple pizza why you're a fugitive? No. No. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. It's falsely accused. I'm not eating pineapple pizza at all. It's a false accusation, and I don't appreciate that, Mark. <laughs> all right. We're just going to leave that one there. Let's find another... Dissonant system. I don't know what you're talking about. There we go. There's one right there. Broke the game! I think I did. Punch them. <laughs> new system. Yeah, I got it. I'm going to go to a new system. Just going to go to a new one. We're going to see if this one works. I, I still have one echo. Echo chart. So we should be able to find one. So we do need to see what uh, what planets are here because if it's an anomaly, oh that one works okay. Kappa uh, gamma root, which means there's also going to be uranium in here. All right, I like that one. I like this one. Um, where's my chart? There it is. Good lord, my inventory is so freaking full. 
My inventory is so freaking full, it's crazy. All right, let's move some stuff around here <laughs> that I don't need. Like, I don't need that for now. I don't need that for now. Oh, that one's already, it's already full. Are you serious? Oh my God. All right. Okay. I mean, we'll, maybe we'll have to upgrade our multi-tool. We have to switch out to our Sentinel multi-tool and start using some of these inverted mirrors because good Lord. Ah, uh, dang, that ship is busted. Dude, Chris, it is 100% busted. <laughs> but that's okay. That is okay. We're going to trade this thing out. Because the one thing it has going for it is that it is an A-class. So we are going to be able to sell for some top-notch stuff. We do need some magnetized ferrite and some gold. Okay, we could do that. Uh, paraffinium and pugnium. We can do some of that. Let's see. Maybe we can get a good multi-tool. Maybe we can get a freaking good sentinel ship that's not going to, like, bug out and not let me get it. <laughs> that might help. I like this one. It's way better because it's more flat. Easier to see stuff. All right. Let's see. Please let me have a good multi-tool that has an advanced mining beam on it. Uh, 7, 12, and 2. Seven, two, and twelve. Uh, how do you get the thing to find the uh, multi tools? Oh, Trevor! If you go and destroy the uh, the purple resonators, they will do that. Let me show you after we get this done. Let's see. It comes with a bolt caster and a pull spitter. Are you serious? Okay, I'm gonna take this one because this one's actually really good. All right. I mean, it still doesn't have an advanced mining beam, but it has two weapons on it. I like that. All right. But yeah, so if you go and find... When you're on a... Uh, on a... Uh, what's it called? On a corrupted planet, you'll see these cool... These little purple machines right here. You see that thing? It kind of looks like it has a fin on it. These are resonators. Go look at them. Oh, my mother God. Why? All right. But, uh, don't destroy it immediately. Walk over to it. If you look at it, it'll either tell you, it'll tell you inverted mirror or it'll tell you echo locator. Echo locator is what you want. Echo locator is what the chart we use to find those camps. So let's get this. Oh God, we need ammo. So if we destroy it, do I have room? Okay, you need to make sure you have room in your inventory. That way you don't have to worry about, you know, like messing up and losing everything. Let's uh, let's upgrade this thing. This is a good multi-tool. All right. It's a B-class. All right, let's see it. It has a uh, pull spitter on it. This thing blows through a lot of ammo, but it does a lot of damage as well. All right. Echo locator. And the reason why it does a lot of damage is that it throws out a lot of ammo. But, I mean, you're making a thousand bullets in your ammunition anyway, so you might as well, right? Now, the other thing you want to do if you're going to fight them like that is I have a supercharged slot right here. Put my weapon, my main weapon, whatever that is. We're going to get rid of that. What the? You really want to start stuff? Yeah, see? Not what you want to start, buddy. All right. If you put it in the uh, supercharged slot, you'll actually do more damage. So, it, oh, it should tell you what it is. No? Okay, it doesn't tell you, but I can, I can show you in general. Look at the damage potential. Right now, it is 2,758. If I put it in my supercharged slot, 4,000. It doubled it. Almost. Almost. It went from 2,700 to 4,300. That's like, that's like 40, 30% more. That's crazy. And I just moved it into a supercharged slot. That's why you want to use those if you can. All right, let's uh, let's uh, upgrade this freaking multi-tool. Uh, crystallized heart, Atlantium, Atlantium, crystallized heart, Atlantium, Atlantium, crystallized heart, Atlantium, and radiant shard. Dang it, radiant shard. Okay. The other thing you can do, and keep in mind, this is a permanent change. 
the other let me get inside this before i die the other thing you can do with your multi-tool is you can only do this with a sentinel multi-tool because they come with a hijacked laser so this laser is not normal it's a repurposed laser but you can build a mining beam to go with it the way that works let me show you let me show you what it does so if i'm just running around this is my my sentinel beam you see how long it takes for that i mean it's decent it works pretty well right but i'm overheating really fast too if you install another mining beam they work in conjunction so it cuts down your heat and it increases your damage output so let's do this now it's permanent be careful this is permanent so i can never get rid of my mining beam it's th it's there forever however now oh yeah it's going twice as fast and look at that heat my heat dispersal it's just taking forever to overheat i could do this all day i am captain america right now i could do this all day i could just run this thing forever so there you go so that is a benefit and that only works on a sentinel multi-tool and the only reason that only works on a sentinel multi-tool is because you cannot remove this it won't let you take it out so the hijack laser can only be on a sentinel multi-tool and you can never remove it get back in here recharge that while i'm trying to figure out what i do here there we go oh yeah my life support my life thing here oh i need a wiring loom i could do that probably um wiring loom wiring loom what could i destroy to get a wiring loom nothing nothing at the moment all right well let's go over here we're gonna see where our uh where our freaking ship is that way we can see what ship is in this system i think it's a 25 percent boost it's a big one uh Kulsa. it's a big one it might not be a 50 it might not be a double but i mean you're gonna be it's, it works really really quick compared to a regular one the big factor the the big reason to do it is the overheat it slows down so freaking much it's crazy so i mean yeah seriously like look at that before it would take me forever like i could switch over to another one i can switch back over to my normal one i switch back to this one look how fast it overheats that meter goes up really fast look at that we're already halfway to hot we're almost overheating already and it's only been what 10 15 seconds but if i switch back over to my rifle i could fire this thing off all day long look at that it goes so freaking slow that's what you just it's a really big benefit i'm sure they're gonna fix it they're gonna fix it because that's not i i don't think that's intended i don't think that is a uh, a thing they wanted to happen i think it's just an accidental thing maybe i'm wrong though maybe it is uh cyclotron module oh we could do that we could delete that all right so we're not gonna use a cyclotron however we need a we need room for that oh well, let's get inside that way i don't die all right we're gonna pull that out for now we're gonna put in our cyclotron i hate this thing but we're gonna get rid of it and then we're gonna install that did we get a wiring loom out of there you sob did not want to give me a freaking mother okay all right we just wasted an upgrade for no reason whatsoever all right fine fine i guess that's cool that's cool i didn't want it anyway all right Well, do we get all of our uh, our piles of crap? I'm now upset. Multi-tool expansion slot. We don't need that. Um. Well, let's uh, portable refiner. Let's refine some nanites out of that thing. I'm so mad about that. We just lost all of that. That's great. Thank you so much for that. All right. Let's get some nanites out of there. Let's just, let's grab this stuff viscous fluids we don't need that we don't need the salt get rid of that 
We don't technically need this anymore either. Put that up there, put that up there, put that up here, over here. We can sell that. I have a whole bunch of oxygen. I should probably get rid of that. Um, I need a wiring loom. All right. I'm upset that that thing just basically didn't give me any of my materials because I didn't have any room. Okay, we got all the we got all the wheelbarrows full of stuff. Give me all that. All right. Let's go see what ship we're gonna get. Uh, it may be a feature as it's only available on multi-tools that can only be found on certain planets, like you search for it, so here's a perk. Maybe! It feels like it's... Like, if it was a perk, it wouldn't be as powerful as it is. Like, I could understand if they said, hey, look, it's a perk, but it slows it down by a little bit. Not a lot. Like, that's a massive, massive difference on your heat generation. That is crazy. So, to me, when it's too good to be true, that means it's not not intended. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they wanted it to be that powerful, but I don't think so. If it was intended, they wouldn't give you that much of an advantage. Because, I mean, seriously, I can just freaking run that thing all day long. It's crazy how, how much it does not overheat. Is it green? Oh, it's a yellow. Okay. Purged with a B. All right, I guess. Let's do this. It's a B. And it looks okay. It's blue. It's blue and yellow. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like the color scheme on it. The wings, not so much. But I like the color scheme. Runaway mold. We can turn that into nanites. So let's do that real quick while we're uh, trying to figure out what we got to do here. Where's my mold? There you are. Turn that into nanites. All right. Open that up. What did that give me? It gave me nanites? Okay, great. Thank you for that. Do I only have one brain? I thought I had two brains. What? Where'd my other brain go? I guess I'm not allowed to have another brain. Hmm. Oh, no, there it is. Okay. Because they stack. You can stack these brains up. And you can make nanites out of them. But I, w I mostly want to stack them just to get them out of my inventory. Um. Okay. Pop that. Get rid of the, the remaining... Uh, where is it at? Oh, did I get rid of all of it? Oh, nice. Okay. There we go. More damage, better maneuvering, yes. Better than current. It is better than current. It definitely is. And it's a B class. It's very good. The problem is I don't have an advanced mining beam. That's the big issue. Look at this chunky geck. Look at this guy. Oh, dude, you're my new favorite guy. Hey, buddy. I'm not gonna. I'm not here to hurt you. You look like a teddy bear. A big old feathery teddy bear with a shell on. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, we need we need to find an advanced mining beam. Please like if you haven't done so, guys. Yeah, James, thank you very much. If you guys have not hit that like button, I would really appreciate it if you guys did. Is there a loom of any of your other tools? Oh, yeah, I could probably do that. You know what? Good thinking. Good thinking. Let me see. Let me grab this one. I don't think I can, but let's see. Yeah, I don't think I can destroy yeah, my laser scanner. Radiation protection. Nanotube. That'll just, yeah, just, just give me that. That, that, that. All right, so let's go back in here. Yeah, they'll just give me ferrite dust. Carbon nanotube. That's it. Oh, yeah, yeah. So nothing. I can't destroy that. So I got a whole bunch of nanotubes. <laughs> All right. The only thing I can think of is if I destroy this. No, pugnium and chromatic metal. Chromatic metal, carbon nanotubes. Nanotubes. That's it. Nothing. Okay.
pop in here for a second. That way I don't die. <sighs> what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I mean, I can get rid of this, but I like it. I can get rid of this, but I like it. Um, and I fix any of these? Paraffinium, paraffinium, magnetized ferrite, magnetized ferrite. Um, magnetized ferrite. Um, yeah, nothing really. Gold? I have magnetized ferrite. I have a little bit. Not a lot. I need a hundred. You could destroy the X-Class ship shield. I mean, I could. I wanted to keep it, but yeah, I mean, I could. That'll give me a uh, wiring loom, chromatic metal, and magnetized ferrite. Yeah, let's do it. That way I could fix this thing. Why does it not go into my suit inventory, you stupid game? Well, we're going to reload. Auto save. So, if you don't have any room in your, uh, in your ship inventory and you delete something, even if you have all the room in the world in your suit, doesn't matter. Why? Why? Is it like I just throw it away? Like, oh, there's no room. Throw it away. It should automatically go to wherever there's room. You stupid, stupid game. All right. Let me move all this stuff into my suit inventory. Oh, it just saved. Mm-hmm. It saved. Well, screw this game. Really, really, really. Just screw this game. <laughs> just screw it. Why would you do that to me? All right. You know what? I'm just done with this crap. I'm just done with it. Oh, my God. It's so aggravating. This freaking game is just like, oh, you want to actually keep the stuff? Nah, 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 nah. Uh, new thing. Yep, sad trombone. Yeah, that's what it should be. It should be. It's just, it's so aggravating. Why? Why just delete it? I don't understand it. Why make it to where I cannot, you know, go and interact with a sentinel ship? Come on! Inverted mirror. We don't need any of those. I hate that log. So we're going to get rid of this one. We're going to delete that. We're going to abandon that one. We need this one. Oh, no, no. We need that one, too. So that's great. We'll just go there. Boom, boom, boom. I am just so done with this thing. It's a good B level. Let's pop back in here. That should give me my mission back. There it goes. Okay. And now we're not going to worry about that one. What we're going to worry about is... Where's my chart? We need a sniper rifle in this game, dude. <laughs> we have a blaze javelin. It's terrible. Should have reloaded your manual save before getting out of the ship. I mean, I guess. I'm not worried about it. I'm just done. I'm not going to reload like crazy just because. All right. There. Now let's go see. We got one more chance before I have to just go fly around in circles looking for... Alien monoliths and crashed uh, ships. Got to go to a moon, look for a crashed ship. We got this, guys. We got this. It's so aggravating when it gets rid of stuff. It's like, come on. You realize. I'm, or at minimum, just tell me I cannot do that. I don't have the inventory space. Just do that. If you're not going to actually do it, you don't, you don't want to do it the easy way. I get it. Just tell me there's no inventory room. Okay. Instead of just letting me delete it and go, oh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> you don't actually need the items that come from that thing, do you? Radiation protection for 
There we go. All right, let's see what we got in here. Let's see if there's anything good. There is. Oh, no. They don't give you items anymore? I thought these ones gave you items. I guess not. All right. Fine, then. That pineapple pizza sure has them in a rough mood. Dude, I know. I'm already irritated. Pineapple pizza, but kind of the pineapple soda as well. <laughs> Ooh. One, one, six, twelve. Oh, this is a good multi tool. One, six, twelve. One, six, twelve is from the expedition. That was the good one. Maybe this will be a really good multi tool. Any ship will work in the uh, pirate system or it's pirate station. That's true. Weapon terminal. Let's see. What is this? Are you... Okay, guys. Okay, guys. What? What? I got a mining laser. I got a mining beam upgrade. I have a geology cannon. I have a mining beam upgrade again. I have an advanced mining laser. I have a scatter blaster. Are you kidding me? This is the best tool I've ever seen. Usually you'll get one upgrade, maybe two if you're lucky. One or two. I got the whole top row. Are you serious? What? What? And it's an A-class. Exactly. And it's squared out. Look at all this room. It's all squared out. There's no holes in here. Oh my god, this is the best weapon of all time. It, the only thing that could make it better is if it was an S-Class. That is the only way, and those are so rare, it doesn't even matter. Um, yes, we'll take this. <laughs> Alright, make sure I have room in my inventory, because I'm going to delete this geology cannon. I'm deleting the geology cannon because this will get me in trouble. I will kill myself with this thing. This will, it causes an explosion that can damage you as well as everything else. Reload! No, 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 no. Danny, why would I reload on that? Here's what we're going to do. We have an autosave. Autosave just happened. So I do the manual save. Let's do the manual save. Why would I want to reload that? Geocannon is a death trap. It is. Death by ground boom. Put the pulse spitter in it. Dude. I like the scatter blaster though. Let's see. Let's see. We have an auto save that should be right there. One, six, twelve. You just did. Let's see. It's all here, baby. Okay, it is all here. Okay. This is permanent. This is permanent. My God. I'll take it. Okay. So, I'm going to get rid of the geology cannon. There's room in my inventory, right? There's room in my inventory. I'm going to get rid of the geology cannon. Get rid of that. It's going to give me a wiring loom, and I'll be good. Wiring loom. There you go. Now I have this. Good. Now we're back to normal. I don't need this resonator. We can get rid of that later on. But now, what I need to do is I need to fix all this stuff. Inverted mirror. Yes. Everything I can fix, I want to. Crystallized heart, crystallized heart, inverted mirror. Crystallized heart. Atlantium, uh, inverted mirror. Atlantium. Okay. So, is that a supercharged slot? Are you freaking serious? <laughs> oh my god! Supercharge. Is this, this is a supercharged slot. That's a supercharged slot. 
That's a supercharged slot. Are you kidding me? All right, so. I like the scatter blaster. We're gonna keep that scatter blaster. That thing does a lot of damage. Now I will show you, look at this. 7,000 compared to my 4,000 on my other tool. This is, I love it. This is my favorite. I am loving this freaking setup. Thank God. We got it. Well, now let's check the, uh, let's check for the ship. Maybe we'll get an S-Class out of here. Maybe we'll get an A or an S-Class uh, ship out of here. Coordinates, please, Jason. Legendaries, we'll do that. Thankfully, I, I looked at it before I left. <laughs> or I'm going to look at it before I leave. Or I checked your ch your comment before I left. I don't know. I don't know. Thank God I checked. Oh, is it the same one? I think that's the same one. Yeah, that's the same one. Man, it marked the same ship location. Mother. That's all right. Well, here, let me give you the coordinates. So, if you want to come here. Here we go. This is the glyphs. I will even zoom in on the glyphs for you. That way you can really see them. There we go. I got to zoom in manually and then we'll uh, go back. We'll pop in the camera again. There you go. So here are the glyphs. We're in Euclid. We're in the starting galaxy. So you don't have to worry about going to a special galaxy. We're in Euclid. Come over here to these glyphs. I'm on the planet. There you are. Because you're loving it. Name that to McDonald's. Yeah, exactly. I should do it because I'm loving it. As I eat my terrible pineapple pizza. Don't forget to double up the mining beam. Yes. All right. Those are the glyphs, you guys. Those are the glyphs. Now, let me, let me reset this real fast. That way it's not zoomed in. Actually, scratch that. I need to just move the, I need to move the screen to the top right. There we go. So that way you guys can see my uh, my glyphs. There you go. There you go. So those are the coordinates. You got the glyphs earlier. These are the coordinates. Plus 15.73. Plus 89.72. That's what you want to go to. Those are the coordinates. I wish I had a save beacon. Um, I don't have a save beacon. I don't have a save beacon. Dang it. But seriously, somebody come over here, put a save beacon down or something. That way everyone else can find it. That way everyone else can find it. Put a save beacon down. All I ask is make it purple. Make it a purple one. That way, you know, everyone knows. Mmm, pineapple. Not a hater on it for pizza. <sighs> I am. I don't like it on pizza. It's not terrible. Like, I'm not going to vomit and die or anything, but it's just not good. It's not good at all. All right, fine. Well, let's go get some radiant shards, you guys. Uh, I'm not going to stop for two. Give me a whole bunch of them. Like that. That's fine. That's fine. Look at that. Now watch this. See? You see how long it takes it just averagely? Like, like from cold. From cold. Let me do this before I die. From cold, it takes... It's a pretty good multi-tool. Look at that. It's pretty cool, right? Now watch this. Now when I put my, uh, my double uh, mining beam on it. Really, jerk? See? See? This is what you made me do. All right, anyway. Now, from cold, let's hit this again. It is faster. It is way faster. Yeah, we're just blowing through all of that. Holy cow. It is much faster. Seriously much faster.
I'm gonna get this uh, resonator over here, this inverted mirror. I think we need more, because I'm pretty sure I used all my inverted mirrors. Um, oh no, I got one left, I got one left. Oh, we're gonna need, I think we need two or three inverted mirrors. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but I think we need more than one. Let me show you why the scatter blaster is good in the beginning. It's not the best weapon, but in the start, this thing just destroys. That was a waste. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Just destroy them. Let me move some stuff out of my inventory. Like uh, that. That. There we go. Look at that. I have no upgrades on that thing. None. Zero upgrades on this thing. I got zero upgrades. We don't need that. We need all that stuff, though. Um, What can we get rid of? I mean, we don't need that rust of metal. Get that out of here. That trash. We need to move that out of the way, but our, our ship is full. All right. So yeah, Error Gaming, welcome to chat. Yes, hello. You need Atlanta Diem. Yes, I do need that. So that's what we will be going around and hitting some of these. We need some inverted mirrors. We need some radiant shards. But yeah, look at this thing. There we go. Done. It just destroys. So if you need a basic weapon in the beginning, get one of those. Now it's not the best one. With upgrades, you can do better on the bolt caster. But if you just have a, a scatter blaster and that's it, this thing kicks butt early. Hey, look at that. That's why scatter blaster by itself is really good. Bolt caster, once you get six really good upgrades, it's better. But you need six upgrades. It's going to take you a long time to get there. So, yeah. Oh my God, are you serious? My jetpack is broken. Where's my ship? like to subscribe four times already well thank you not a vampire back from a phone call how many times has jason died yet zero and heather heather we found the best multi-tool of all time literally the best one it is insane i have a scatter blade it, it had so many upgrades it's crazy it's crazy i keep trying to do, do a, a shoulder boost i can't do it once i get to safety i'll show you heather Look at this multi-tool. This is this is how I got it. I did not put any upgrades in this thing. This is my multi-tool as I got it. Look at this thing. Are you serious? This thing is so freaking good from the get-go, like with no upgrades added whatsoever. All right, let's me let's fix my uh, jetpack since it's broke. Oh god, I need ferrite dust. Of course I do. And I will take it back. I did add one upgrade. I added a mining beam. So I did add a, a mining beam. Technically, I did. But that's not completely true. However, this thing had so... What the heck? Had so much good stuff to begin with. It's crazy. All right, let's do this. Let's just get our... Let's just go get our good ship. Is this a singularity expedition still? No, it's not, Napoleon. No, if this is just a normal extreme uh, playthrough. We're doing a fugitive playthrough, so we're playing on extreme and we are uh, we're pretending like we're a fugitive from the law. So we cannot get help in any way. We can't go talk to aliens or anything like that. We can't get benefits from them in that way. Don't need that. Where's my freaking... That's... that's Crazy. I don't have a jetpack. I need some freaking ferrite dust, but okay, let's go. We gotta go over here. We need to get our brain soothed. That way we can run around and use our uh, sentinel ship, which is better than the one we have now. We can move some of these upgrades from our current one to the sentinel. 
don't have a jetpack. I keep thinking I do. Yeah, we're gonna use oxygen. I have a whole bunch of it. Might as well use it, right? I need some ferrite dust. How many bases can you upload per planet? Napoleon! I don't know if there's a limit. Like, you should be able to upload unlimited. Now, they... They, uh, they limit you on pieces. Like, if you make a really big base that has a lot of pieces on it, that's when you run into the limit. But as far as I know, your up, your, uh, your base count is unlimited. You're just limited to how many pieces you use. And that is a total save, uh, a save limit. And so if you use, if you upload a thousand bases with a thou with one piece each, that's a thousand pieces, you'll hit the limit. But as far as I know, there's no limit on the base count, just the piece count. Like how many objects you use to build that base, as far as I know. I need to get some ferrite dust. That's why I need to use my jetpack, or I need to fix my jetpack. I need to get some ferrite dust. I can't find any rocks, though. Because all the rocks around here have sodium. Or salt. These animals are all just angry with me. Hey, buddy, come on over. Let's go back to our ship. We should have the inverted mirror. We should have everything we need to fix this thing. That way we can just get it done. And how close you put them? Well, yeah, that's true, too. You can't put them too close together. I think they have to be at least 300 to 500 feet apart. Now, recommended, you want to have way more room than that. You want to have at least a thousand feet between bases. Because if you put too many pieces together, or bases together, they will kind of clash, and it's hard for the, the game to load in all the different bases. So you want room between them. That way the game has enough power to load in everything. There we go. Fix this thing. We need one inverted mirror. How do I not have an inverted mirror? Oh, it's on my ship. Of course, and my ship is too far away. Come on. Do I have room in my inventory? I do not. Oh, I'll have it in a second. All right, pick that up. Put it in here. Oh, wait. We need to go inside of it, Jason. Come on. <laughs> You're terrible, Jason. You're terrible. Is this uh, ferrite dust? This is ferrite dust. Oh, thank God. We got some ferrite dust right here. I can fix my jet back. No other rocks? Oh, God. I only have those two. There we go. It's ours. And it has a phase beam. We don't need that crap. That's terrible. We need a, uh, we need the sentinel cannon. That's what you want. Phase beam, eh. We could delete that and get the item from it. All right. We're claiming it. It's ours. Thank you. Now, I should have a whole bunch of room in my suit now. Oh, yeah, look at that. The one thing is you can't use the launch fuel on your Sentinel ships. It doesn't count. Or it doesn't matter, I should say. Not that it doesn't count. It just doesn't matter. So let's grab this one while we're in here. Put it in my suit. In my suit. And then let's go over here. Let's, we're going to manually do this. We have to go inside of our ship to basically transfer or teleport between. So now, whoop, let's start putting some of this stuff away. Done that. We don't need that one in there. That goes in there, in there, in there, in there, in there, in there. Let's move all the stuff out of the way. Got a whole bunch of Atlantium. Then you don't need this. Okay, so that's good on that. Let's go back over here. Probably seeing some of the uh, builds that people make is probably, it's probably possible, dude. There's some insane, people are amazing builders in No Man's Sky. Amazing builders. So then we're going to take some of these shields out. 
Because you, you can use those in your uh, sentinel ship, which I will take and appreciate. Um, none of that stuff. I think we're good. Yeah, we don't need any of this stuff. Look at that. Perfect. Launch thruster is about empty anyway. So we can do this. There. Perfect. There we go. Done. Now, as far as I know, the launch thruster on the Sentinel ships don't use launch or uh, launch fuel. You have to use Pugnium or something like that. So let's start organizing this. So anti-gravity well, that's your launch thruster. That's your hyperdrive right there. That is your uh, pulse engine. That's your shield. Put this in here, actually. So we'll do that over here. Don't need this. Thank you. We will keep that for now. Don't need that over there. Okay, so we'll put our uh, anti-gravity. That's our launch thruster. We'll put that there. It's not organized beautifully, but it's just good enough. There we go. This is going to be for our shield right there. This is our uh, another shield. There we go. Um, pulse engine right here. Nope, over here. There you go. So yeah, that's our anti-gravity. That's our launch thruster. There we go. Put all this away in our ship. Yeah, and we're golden. Jetpack is broken, but we need to get some freaking ferret dust. Not a big fan, but that's okay. I do like the hover. Look at that. Look at this. So good. Now we're in business. Now we're doing good. Yeah. There's no, there's no landing gear. All right, that's fine. Whatever. I'm gonna come down over here and get some uh, radiant shards. Get attacked. Oh my god! How many of these guys are here? No. You guys are doing this. I don't want to. Why are you guys teaming up on me? No. Why? Onward to an outlaw system. I know I need to. I need to find a freaking, uh, I need to find a freaking, what's it called? Well, we need to find some crystallized hearts. We need to go after the, uh, the, uh, big arachnids. But number two, we need to find some freaking, what's it called? Ferrite dust. Where do we have some? We got a little bit in there, but we need more than that. We need ferrite dust. Why are there no ferrite dust on this freaking planet? That's the crazy part. Is that I'm on a planet that has no ferrite dust. Then in here, cobalt. Want to give me ferrite dust as a secondary? That would help out a lot. He's a mining beam. It's much easier. I know I need to. And it's uh, it's upgraded, so it probably destroys him faster as well. All right, we're gonna get some batteries going. We need some ferrite dust. No ferrite dust in this whole freaking thing? Seriously, no ferrite dust, huh? We got some here. There we go. Crystallized heart, crystallized heart. Atlantium. Atlantium. So I need three crystallized hearts. Okay. I want to fi fix my jetpack before we do that, though. Because I don't want to be stuck with no jetpack while I'm attacking sentinels. That's not an ideal uh, position. 
Please, this is the only time you're gonna ask- you're gonna hear me ask for rusted metal. That way I can get some freaking ferrite dust. Okay. Why is that machine that- okay. Killing me. I need some rocks that don't give me salt, like these ones. They don't give me- I don't want that. have any so outside the cave to the right are you sure i didn't see any over there oh god dang it dang it i don't have a jetpack outside the cave to the right talk about this i don't see any i see these plants these guys no they don't give me cobalt 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 so if I'm over here on the right, I don't see anything over there. If I if this is the right you meant over here, I don't see anything over here either. Further to the left. Oh my god, you can't you can't get me updated because you're 10 seconds behind me. <laughs> you gotta tell me where it is. You can't say to the right, over there, right there, like over like farther. It's like, okay, that doesn't help me at the time. You have to give me direct coordinates. So if we're looking at this machine, where is it gonna be? I'm looking at this machine right here. Where is it going to be? I don't see anything. I don't see any cool rocks or anything like that. I see those, but those, that is a, uh, a sodium or a salt rock. I say sodium, you know what I mean, salt. Uh, to the right, midway, a small rock. Oh, a small, okay, I need more than that. I need more than one. <laughs> I need more than one. I need a group of them, or I need some rusted metal or something. All right, so instead what we're gonna do is I'm gonna run around a little bit over here like these rocks don't count they give me oh Secondary is ferrite dust. I guess I'm not gonna get very much ferrite dust out of them, but I'll get something I guess Oh, uh, that's more than a that's more than a little bit. Wow, okay That secondary is giving me a lot more than normal Whoa, okay secondary item gave me a lot. Look at that. Okay. Never mind. I take it back. I was avoiding those because I didn't care. Holy mackerel. Well, let's fix it then. There we go. Wow, that's giving you a lot for a secondary one. Yeah, seriously. Look at that. That one thing gave me seven fair. Okay, that one gave me not that much. Well. All right, salt has a fair as a secondary. I just noticed that. So, yeah. Heck yeah. All right, we need to get the arachnids. So, I don't want to fight them in space because I don't want the sentinel ships to come in. However, I also don't want to deal with a whole bunch of this stuff. Let's get rid of that. Let's make some batteries while we're here. Let's make some uh, jellies for our health. That's a lot of batteries. Okay. Get rid of that. All right, that's good. That's good. Don't need this. That's good. This goes over here. Oh, we're full on that. All right. So that goes away in there. I think we're okay. All this stuff is good. All my inventory is good in here. Let's get some hearts. Where'd that thing go? Where's my resonator? There you are. So we're looking for... The arachnid, the big old spider. This guy right here, this guy. Done and done. You got one heart. Where's this other guy at? Are you are you hiding behind this thing? Why are you hiding? Are you chicken? Come here.
Wow! That's two. How are you destroying me that quickly? They really put a, a, a hard stop on your burst. Holy crap. Where's this guy at? Where you at? I'm gonna pull my laser out. Maybe the laser goes faster. I don't know. All right. It kind of goes faster. It's actually good. It's decent. Look at that. It's decently good, and it's it, the only benefit it has is that it doesn't overheat as fast, so that is definitely a good thing. Give me that heart. There we go. What do we need? 19? 19 corrupted sentinels? This is not the expedition. We don't need to do that. <laughs> but in my brain, I'm like, how many? I'm counting. I'm literally counting the, uh, the kills we're getting because I did it for so long that it's like it's a habit now. I have to count. I have to get up to 19. <laughs> oh. That should be enough hearts for us. That's not a radiant shard. Oh, it's OP mining, dude. Tux, it is definitely OP mining beam, hundred percent. This thing is so freaking powerful. It's crazy. I can't believe how many upgrades this thing started out with. That's insane. Get out of here. You don't want none of this. Whoa. Oh, it's not a, not a cave, thankfully. Not a big, gigantic hole to kill me. Like Jason was just doing. Anyone notice that attacking the Sentinels with a laser seems to kind of stun them and they have a tendency to just stand there? Yeah, I think so. I think it's a weird thing. I don't know if that's intended or not. Maybe it is. All righty. Got that milestone. Look at this. Just destroying everything. I love it. I can't believe that multi-tool had all those upgrades. That is crazy. I get nanites. I did get nanites. Man, once we get to a, a pirate system, it's going to be crazy. Now, remember, well, even if we get to a pirate system, we cannot go into a pirate station unless we have our solar. So we need a solar, uh, a solar ship. Oh yeah, we could probably, oh yeah, duh. We should probably use those hearts, right? Since they're clogging up our inventory and we were just getting them so we can do this. Cleaned up multi-tool. Look at that beautiful multi-tool. Wait a minute. What is this? Oh, Atlantium. What? I thought that was an upgrade. <laughs> duh. All right. So, if I try to remember how to how to set this up, I believe. So we got to do this. There you go. So that's how you get the best one, or one of the best, is you do a cross like that, and then you start putting more upgrades around. Yes. Just to be done with it. Boom. Nope, not that.
Yeah, look at that. Boom. Just destroying. Okay, closing time. Have a wonderful day. Hey there, howdy. Thank you so very much for hanging out today on stream. I don't think it is, but I'm sure it hasn't been reported much either. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's one of those deals where, and I'm sure it's connected to something else. That's why it's broken like that right now. And so once they fix something else, it might automatically like, oh, by the way, that's gone too. But who knows? Maybe it's intended. What are we at? Oh, our, our uh, carbon is all jacked up. Okay, that's why. I mean, we don't need that much salt, but I mean, we can refine it. There we go. Okay, so we should be okay. The next thing we have to do is go to a pirate system and look for a solar ship before we go into this into the space station. That is a key. You got to do it like that. You can't just jump in the space station. There we go. We're gonna keep that. Keep that. Keep that. Keep that. That goes away. There's way too much carbon. All right, so we have a suit. We have a multi-tool expansion slot. We can't use it. Uh, not that we're not allowed to, but we won't be able to. Because uh, where we're going, we can't really. Radiant shard. Radiant shard. Where is my... Did I have a uh, hyperdrive upgrade? I thought I had a hyperdrive upgrade. Did I destroy that? So I could have sworn I had a hyperdrive upgrade. Why? Don't be a jerk! I think I destroyed my... I think I destroyed my hyperdrive upgrade because I'm a fool. All right. I'm an idiot. Ah, uh, because yeah, I was just thinking. I was like, I have a hyperdrive upgrade. Why is it not working here? Okay, that's because I don't have one actually. Great. <laughs> Genius, man. All right. So I got two shields. I have a uh, pulse engine, and I thought I had a uh, hyperdrive, but nip, nope, because I destroyed it. Yep. 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 Supercharged thrusters are more... Use more fuel. Really? Do they actually? Well, I'll, I'll switch that out. Because we're going to be going anyway. We're going to be traveling farther anyway. So let's see if we can find a pirate system. Now, these are harder to find for sure. Harder to find. Oh, yeah. We don't have a... We actually don't have... Oh, there's no way for us to find one. So there's no way for us to find it because uh, in order to even know if there's one there, you have to have an economy scanner at least or a, a combat scanner, but I don't have either one and I can't, I don't even know the blueprints to make one. Like I can make a teleport receiver, but I cannot make a combat scanner or anything like that. Do I have anything to sell? Um, boom, and we'll put gold over there. Silver, gold, that, that, that. This is gonna be where our, uh, our fuel is over here, here. I can sell some brains. I can sell that, or I can make nanites out of them. So if you want platinum, look for asteroids that look like these big crystals right here. These will give you platinum. There you go. I got two. I got seven platinum out of there. There you go. So look for those ones. Uh, see you in minutes. Got to head to the mall. Nice, Dart. Heck yeah. Do it, man.
trying to get some gold. And I have broken everything in here. Look at that. Broken everything. Ferrite dust. Got that. We have oxygen, nanotube, and a wiring loom. We need a shield for sure. We definitely need a shield. Find a sentinel ship with the economy conflict scanner. We could do that as well. We could do that as well. The problem is you won't know what it is until you fix it completely. So that is something to keep in mind. We could also find just a regular crashed ship. Because once you find a crashed ship, they have those cool uh, distress beacons around you that uh, that will uh, show you uh, a new technology. Let's go here. And this has a good amount of planets in it, so there could be a good planet here. Let's try this out. Let me get some more of this pineapple pizza. I hate that. You got to go in the first person to see it. So that's our, uh, that's our corrupted planet over there. I'm looking for a moon. Let's see if this moon is nice. We'll be able to run around on it and find some, uh, some ships metallic planet. That's not going to help. That's not helpful at all. Dang it. I was hoping I could run around on there, but a metallic planet is probably going to be an anomaly planet. And plus the fact that it only has three materials on it, copper, gold, and cobalt. That means this is probably an anomaly planet, not going to be useful for finding crash ships or anything like that. And regular space station is not a outlaw station. Not an outlaw system, which sucks. All right. Well, we know that it's going to be over here somewhere. It's going to be on this planet over here. Let's aim at it, then fire off our chart. And there it is. Kind of figured. All right. Jason eating pineapple pizza. Paul Smalser. Smalser. Yes. I got a pineapple pizza mostly because, Paul, you weren't here for the beginning. There is pineapple Pepsi. So there's actually pineapple Pepsi. So I wanted to taste the pineapple Pepsi and I figured why why only do the pineapple Pepsi when we could do pineapple pizza as well and I could suffer through the pineapple pizza with you guys. And the pineapple Pepsi is okay. I think I prefer, I still prefer like a cherry or like a strawberry. I like the berry-esque flavors. But I mean, it's okay. I would rather drink that than eat the pineapple pizza. I will say that. I would rather drink the freaking pineapple uh, soda and deal with that. Uh, does the taste clash? Uh, not really. I think what happens is it's really overpowering. So... When you first drink the pineapple Pepsi, you get a really strong punch of uh, pineapple. And then you get, okay, it's Pepsi, but you first thing you notice is that it's really strong pineapple flavor. And then you get a little subtle Pepsi behind it. And then the aftertaste is a very strong pineapple taste. So it's very, very strong pineapple with a little bit of Pepsi in there. So if that's what you're going for, if you really like pineapple, then go for it. That's going to be a good... So, oh my god, we're an extreme planet. Great! Does this count? Does this count as a building? I think this does count. Okay, good. 
<laughs> Extreme Storm almost killed me. Don't damage me. Stay in here. Stay in here. Not a vampire. Thank you so much for the super chat saying, please buy some real food. I will. I will. I wanted to test it out. Not a vampire, but thank you. Oh, seven. I appreciate you. But yeah, I wanted to. And because you, as far as I know, maybe I'm wrong, but as far as I know, you have to go to Little Caesars to get a, uh, a pine or a Pepsi, pineapple Pepsi. So that's why I went there and I was like, oh, I might as well get the pizza while I'm there. So we got a pineapple Pepsi and the pizza. But I think, thank you, not a vampire. Uh, it does, Paul, but I wouldn't eat it. Uh, does the pizza also have ham on it? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It is a traditional, like, Hawaiian pizza. It has ham and pineapple on it. Uh, something about pineapple and ham together just works for me. It doesn't really work for me, Paul. I would rather just have the ham. I would. I don't like the, the pineapple. I'm not a big fan of the pineapple. Wow, dude, we're just going straight up right to the... Wow, I'm getting destroyed here. All right, well, we're going to find... Let's see if we can get a better multi-tool. I doubt it. We have the best multi-tool ever right now, so I don't think we'll get better. But let's see. 14, 3, and 9. 14, 3, 9. So let's go 3, 9, 14, right here. Uh, understand that it is important to try to do things before you say you don't. That is true. That's what I. That's my own philosophy. Is I will say that I don't like something, but I always try it first. I always try it because I want to make sure. Because maybe it doesn't sound good, but it actually is good. I take it back. That's an S class right there. It has a blaze javelin, which is garbage. But it's an S-Class. That is an S-Class multi-tool. I didn't think it could get better. Uh, I was wrong. I was wrong. Dude, I will take it. Take it. Where's my ship before I die? I melt from the radiation. Oh, no, we're good. Let's find, let's find another ship. S-Class multi-tool. I didn't think it was going to happen. I thought, oh, it'll be like a B or an A, maybe. Holy crap, Jason. Wow, dude, Bear Blue. This is a really lucky run. I'm telling you. Very, very lucky run. So let's get in here. Let's see if we can clear out some of this. Uh, let's see if we can clear out some of this room in here. We, know, we don't need this crap. Blaze Javelin is terrible trash. So we'll get rid of that. Um, inverted mirror, yes. Crystallized heart, yes. Inverted mirror, we don't have any more of that, but we have a lot of Atlantium, so we should be okay on that, yep. Update. Oh, I backed up too much. Crystallized heart, yes. Radiant shard and corrupted, yeah, or in the uh, thing. Oh, we need more crystallized heart, okay. Inverted mirror, Atlantium. Now, the one thing I will say is, is this one does not have as many of the, uh, as many supercharged slots. So, this multi-tool has one that's available right now. So, this multi-tool does not have as many supercharged slots as my other one. If I switch out to my other one, watch. My other main, I think it's this one. Um, nope, that's not it. I need to start getting rid of this, some of these. So this one. So I have one right here, one up here, and one over here. I have three on this one, but it's only an A class. On the other one, it's an S class, but it only has one supercharged slot. Uh, it's all the broken slots. I don't think so. Because usually they glow. So, let's check it. Get back in here. I know. Um, yeah, so usually they'll glow. And they'll tell you. They'll say, hey, 
This is a supercharged slot, even if it's broken. So it's not any of these. These do not. So you can upgrade this thing. And I bet you the supercharged slots are down here. They're all down in here. Because you can upgrade these rifles to be huge. They have a massive inventory. And so that's probably, it's probably going to be over here somewhere. Uh, you can store the tech out of the other multi-tool, or is that not allowed? It is! It is easy cure. It is. So I can get the other multi-tool. I can, I can strip it of all of its upgrades and put them in here. The problem is, I don't know if it'll actually be as good. Like, I don't need this. We can get rid of that. Um, I will take a, a S-Class beam upgrade. Inverted mirror, crystallized heart, crystallized heart. So should I? Radiation protection falling. I should probably do this in here. Because I'm on the extreme planet. Can't really mess around on the extreme planet. Let's see. Can't take that one out, but I could do this. Mm, see, I want that. I have two of them right here. They're so good. I don't know if I... Uh, did you get milk, Carmen? Oh, no, no. Back. Mom needed a quick shopping trip. What did I miss? Oh, Carmen. We just got an S-Class multi-tool. But the big drawback is the S-Class only has one supercharge. This A-Class has three of them available. I feel like this is actually a better multi-tool. Because of the placement of the supercharged slots. That's what I'm going to go with. That's my gut. I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to stick with the A class. I'm going to stick with the A class. I just, I feel like this is a better one. It's a better one. That being said, I will take out my, uh, that upgrade. Um, I'll take that out. I know, I know. I'm getting this thing real fast. All right. I feel like the A is better. S-Class, I was gone for 10 minutes and you got an S-Class? I did legendary S-Class rifle. But the problem is it doesn't have very good supercharged slots. At least not to me. Let's put our terrain manipulator in here. And then another mining beam upgrade. So, yeah, we're getting better up, up mining beam stuff. So I can show you the S-Class. I did strip it, so it doesn't have all the upgrades that it came with. But, let me show you. So here's my S-Class. It's good! I mean, it's it has a lot of inventory space. The only problem is it only has one supercharged slot. That's it. It only has one. Whereas my, my A-Class has three. So I feel like those three supercharged slots actually make it better than the S-Class. Why not just keep the S-Class for later? Oh, yeah, we're, well, I will, I'm not going to get rid of it, but I'm not going to use it either. So Memories of War. So instead, we're going to be the S-Class S Memories. That way I remember that's my S-Class. So, yeah, I'm not going to get rid of it. It's an S-Class, of course. I want to keep it, but I'm not going to use it either because it's not that good of an S-Class right now. With my A-Class, this thing is so freaking pumped up. I'm going to keep my uh, Pulse Spitter. So we'll do this. Pop that down there. Okay, so. Put that away, put that away. We don't need that. Uh, 
will keep that just in case I need more uh, ferrite dust. Make some more of this. Oh, there you go. I need more ferrite dust. So did I did I uh, find my uh, my resin? I did. Okay. There's my spike. Let's go see if this uh, if this ship has something good. Guys, let's get some money. Let's get some money, right? Radiation let's put that on their ship. There's 600,000 right there. Boom. I just got out for almost half a million. I'll take it. I've been using the neutron cannon. It's uh, the thing is OP. Oh yeah, if you get a good setup on your neutron cannon, the thing is definitely OP. I like the pulse spitter early on because it uses a lot of ammo, but it does a lot of damage. Oh my God, we're five minutes away. The, uh, the neutron cannon, same thing. If you get a lot of upgrades on a neutron cannon, very, very good. But it's the same thing as a bolt caster. In the beginning, neutron cannon, not very good. You need a good supercharge setup and a good upgrade setup. The scatter blaster and the pulse, uh, the, uh, the, uh, pulse, what is it called? <laughs> the pulse spitter. They are good from the get go. Now they're not the best overall. If you have all the upgrades for everything, bolt caster and the, uh, and the neutron cannon are better. However, if you don't have any upgrades, Pulse Spitter and the Scatter Blaster are better. Let's go see. Ooh, this one's looking nice from the back. Um, let's grab that. That and that. And it's a B class. All right. I mean, that's fine. What the crap? We have a flying orb. It's extreme. This extreme planet is going to kill me. I can't do anything. All right. That, yeah, this extreme planet is going to murder me. Let's get that. That goes away. Let's fire that off. And we're going to need some radiant shards, of course. I guess we're going over here. Oh, right next to this, uh, this guy. Is that a, an octopus down there? Beeble raid! Thank you so much for the raid, Beeble bum. Nope, you can just exchange them for another multi- Yeah, exactly. So you cannot destroy a multi-tool, but you want to keep your multi-tools, especially your sentinel ones, because they're worth a lot. That way you can trade them out for another multi-tool and you get a lot more for your money. These sentinels are gonna be mad at me. Oh, they don't care. Okay, never mind. They don't care. I thought they were gonna care, but I guess not. They're about to care when I shoot this thing, though. I got my inverted mirror. Okay. There we go. Thank you, Beeble, for the raid, man. Very much appreciated, dude. Very much appreciated. See, so pulse, uh, pulse Spinner works very well. The only downside it really has is that it blows through a lot of ammo. So you're going to need a lot of ammo in your inventory just to make sure you're, you're okay with it. All right, can I use it now? Yes, I can. Okay, there we go. Beebs was kicking necks in Valent. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> the Gex. Bob has me saying that. Uh, Survival Bob. He keeps telling me that they're, uh, he keeps calling them Gex. The little Gek guys. I'm like, no. <laughs> That's not a Gek. Where's my ship? Okay, there it is. Are those flying worms in the sky? Those are. Those little flying tremors out there. Got some money for that. Heaviest li flying life form. 
Love it. I know, we're on an extreme planet. This is not ideal at all. I'm just trying to see if I can get a freaking, uh, 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 an economy scanner or a, uh, a combat scanner, some kind of a scanner so I can find a, an outlaw system. You can do it on accident. Like you can find one on accident by just running into it. But I'd like to you know, know I'm going to one. Do you have any good save editors for No Man's Sky on Xbox? I have no idea how you would do that. I don't know. I know there's one for PC. I have not played with it, so I have no idea how well it works. I'm always, I get freaked out about doing that because I don't want to, you know, corrupt a save or lose a save. You know, I would rather just delete it on my own. <laughs> Instead of corrupting it, trying to save edit the thing. I know. There we go. Let's get over here. Definitely need to get some upgrades for my freaking jetpack. Bob the bot. <laughs> uh, get to the chopper. We definitely need to do another Bayless rest with Zane and uh, GG when. Dude, 100% Beetle Bomb. I am there. Because it's been a while since I played Valheim and I'm getting the itch to go back into it. So. I definitely, if you guys, if you start it up, I mean, we're waiting on an update for No Man's Sky, and I have a feeling it's going to be a pretty big update, so maybe not right now, but hey, in November, you know they're probably going to be doing another uh, a replay. We might be, we might have some time then, because, you know, we can do the replay real fast and then just jump into Valheim. It won't be as busy. I mean, it's the holiday season, so you know what I mean, but... Might have more time then. Or in January. I think we did it last time. We did it in January anyway, right? We did it last January. So maybe that's another good time to do it. Or when the freaking new biome releases. Whenever, you know. <laughs> I'm excited to play, though. I'm excited. Just trying to get some of my, uh, my awesome uh, radiant shards. Because those are my fuel now that I'm using my, my sentinel ship. Oh, I thought that was a... For a minute there, I thought that was a ship. I was like, what? There's a ship with a landing pad on it? That's kind of weird. Never mind. Uh, there is one, but not sure how great. The best solution I heard so far is using an Xbox Game Pass and save edit them using the PC version. Yeah, you can. That's a weird workaround, and I would never be, never even try to explain it. But there is a cr kind of a cross save between your Xbox... Uh, Xbox save and it, you can bring it on game pass to go to PC and then you can edit the PC save and bring it back to Xbox That's a whole process. I have no idea how to do that No idea how to do that Let's see should be able to grab this thing and beautiful. Nope. It has two uh, supercharged slots in it. And I mean, it's orange. So that's okay. Miyogi! Member for over a year, 13 months. Miyogi, thank you so very much. Thank you, sir, for your fun and addictive quality. Well, thank you for being a member for 13 months, man. Very much appreciated. Loved your uh, your Valheim streams with Jason and GG. Those are so much fun to watch. They are. They're fun to do. It was really, really fun. So I'm definitely down to do that again, Beeble Bum. Um, we're going to claim it, but we're not going to keep it. We're going to keep that in our, uh, our normal inventory. We'll keep that as a backup. Move these over. Move that over. Don't need that. We'll keep that for now. We need to, you know what? We need to get rid of that, that, uh, that rusted metal. So let's do that real quick. While we're waiting. I mean, we got some money. So, I mean, we got some radiant or uh, some storm crystals. Maybe I should get some more while we're here. Right. I see any around. I don't see any around. Oh, they just popped over there. I see them now. Can I even stay out here for long enough? 
Come on. You, my God, I got like 10 seconds out in the uh, world before I die. Midnight Owl, remember for two months? I think that's more than that, but okay. YouTube says two months. I don't know. I don't know if I believe YouTube on that, but thank you for being a member for two months plus. Very much appreciated. Saying thank you for beating Beeb's speed run. <laughs> we tied at the end, but I honestly, if we had to give it a uh, if we had to give it a ruling, I would say that M O H Mo, he is in the lead. He's number one because he got there first. He's the one who beat it at 37 minutes first, and then it was Delta. He got it second, and then I got it last. So technically, it was Mo, then Delta, then me. Even though we all got the same time, technically. There we go. Stop for a good uh, group of uh, crystals. Oh, that looks like a good four of them right there, or three of them. Three or four. That's good enough, right? That's good enough for me. Oh, God. It looks like it's stuck over on the side of it. One, two, three, four. There we go. So my inventory is going to be packed full of storm crystals. I love it. Oh, wait. No, starship. Starship. Duh. What am I doing here? I thought it was in my, my suit inventory. That's why I was picking them up. So I'm looking for good clusters that have like a good group of them. And that one looks like three. That's fine. Three is fine. This will be our last three that we jump down to. With a hell of a close set of uh, runs. Dude, Delta. No kidding. It was crazy getting up that point. Look at these glowing orbs. Two, three. Oh, I can feed them? Do I have it? Do I have the recipe for? I do. Oh, God. Okay. We're going to get one of these orbs because they're really weird, and I want to have one of them. Hey, come here. Come here. Milk him, and then... Uh, move, 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 move! Get out of there! Just let me get back in my ship before I die! Okay. <laughs> oh, good lord. Craw milk? How do I get craw milk from an orb? Is that supposed to come from beetles? You can ride the orbs? Oh, yes. Pineapple pizza. Ugh. Yeah, Delta, it was close. She had four and a half hours. Yep. Heather is doing pretty good. All right. I don't want to get out. I don't want to die. But I want these crazy looking... Like, what is this guy? Hey, buddy. I got a bone nugget from that guy. He looks like he's not very bony. All right. All right. I'm not going to tempt my luck anymore. All right. We're going to get out of this planet because this planet's going to kill me. I don't want to deal with this planet messing me up. So let's see if we can find another system. Maybe it's a pirate system, but we'll look for a dissonant system. Missed it by that much. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see. Let's see if we can get a, uh, a good dissonant system. Water, 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 nothing. Ah, uh, dissonant system. There we go. Thanks, Bob. Yep, missed it by that much. Good morning from Australia at 7.18 in the morning. Dude, pineapple pizza is the best. Not really. I got it because I wanted to try out the pineapple Pepsi. Oh, God. Are you in trouble? Nope. Get away from me. I don't want to deal with you.
Up, oh, Gamma Planet. Okay. This is my dissident planet. Let's get down in here. Actually, let's see. Number one, let's see if this is a, an actual... Uh, oh, we can just check that. Space station. Okay, so it's not an outlaw station. So this is not a pirate system. This is just a regular corrupted uh, system. Let's get down in here. See if we can get a good uh, good base going on here. Maybe we can find a uh, a sentinel pillar. That would make my life a lot easier, right? Oh, uh, extreme gamma planet. It's going to kill you. Yeah, it was basically. <laughs> it was. Didn't want to mess around with that too much. Is this? Okay, it is. Because like, now I'm starting to see the crystals. All right, let's land here. I have a nice clean inventory. I do. We have any uh, resonators around here? I'm not seeing. Oh, I see one over there. Corrupted drone. If you see a regular, if you see a drone out in the middle of nowhere, usually they're protecting a resonator. Here we go. Just to clear it out. I think we're good. Okay. Sodium nitrate. That's always good for my uh, my hazard protection if I ever need it. And for my suit if I ever find a uh, cargo drop pod. There we go. Damage machinery. I just want to get an upgrade. Please give me a suit upgrade, like a jetpack upgrade or a life support or something. Life support! Thank you. You're good. Thank you so much. All right. Let's move that over here. We're going to move this over here. That one. So we got solar panel and life support tanks are going good. Ask and you shall receive. What the heck? Little steam vents. Okay. Most intelligent being. Okay. Man of your word, Jason. You said you were going to do pineapple today, and you did. I try to. I try to. And there's every once in a while I cannot do something, and I don't like doing that. But for the most part, I do. If I say, hey, it looks interesting, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. I don't like it. I thought maybe I would like the pineapple Pepsi. It's okay. It's not the best. It's not the worst. I've had really terrible soda. Um... What was the worst soda I've ever had? I had, well, I can't say the word on YouTube because they'll get me, but basically a self-termination where you go to, um, if you go to a, like a, a, a gas station or some place that has a fountain area where you get all the different flavors of soda and you put a little bit of everything together, they, we used to call that a, uh, a self, uh, a self, uh, you're taking yourself out, you know, figure out the word that starts with an S. <laughs> we used to call it that. Uh, inverted mirror. Uh, but yeah, that was disgusting. Whenever you would do that, that was the dumbest thing you would do. I just wanted an inverted mirror. I don't care about that. All right, let's see if we can get another one around here. Radiant shard. Inverted mirror over here. A Sue, yeah, a Sue, yeah, exactly. YouTube does not like you using that word. They will get you cr like crazy. Yeah, we call those a graveyard back home. Yeah, it was, it was a dumb thing that kids would do. You know, oh, I'm gonna go to the fountain and I'm gonna go get a whole bunch of stuff. But it was always, it never was good. It was never good. It was always like a dare. Like you're gonna go pay for a soda. It was like a dollar at a, a, like at a gas station. And then you would just do that, and you're like, why? Why? Why, why waste the money? <laughs> uh, inverted mirror? Come on. I need an echo locator. 
There's another one over here. Hey Jason, what are you up to? Nerdus, Optimus, we are doing an extreme outlaw run. So we, we set all the difficulty settings to the most difficult. We're on extreme difficulty and we're role playing as a fugitive. So we cannot go to space stations. We cannot interact with other aliens unless they're outlaws. Those are the only ones we can really interact with. So like if a, if a trader lands next to me, they're an outlaw, they're selling black market stuff. I can talk to them. But I cannot go to like a trading outpost. I cannot go to a, a regular space station. I can go to an outlaw station, but I need to, I need to have a solar ship to to blend in at an outlaw station. Like if I just show up in my ship, if I show up in a sentinel ship, they'll kind of get suspicious of me. So you have to have a solar ship to get in there. Inverted mirror, come on. So yeah, that's what we're doing. And we're just trying to get out of this galaxy. We have to go to the next galaxy to escape the, the authorities. So we're just trying to get the heck out of there and not have the authorities find us. Uh, what is, when does the stream end? Oh, probably in about an hour or so. Yeah, about an hour. We got an hour left, at least for me. Delta One is streaming in an hour. Oh, nice, Delta. We will. We might be uh, raiding Delta then. If he is, if he starts streaming when I end, of course. Uh, guess not. Darts in the uh, caps in jail. Oh no, dang it! Uh, had to do some work. Advanced mining beam yet? Yes, got it. We got it. We got it. We do have it. So, Gato, not only do we have an advanced mining beam. Look at this multi-tool. Look at all the upgrades we have in it. We found a we found a rare randomized multi-tool that had an advanced multi an advanced mining beam and some upgrades. It was amazing. It's the best multi-tool ever. And it's just some random one out there. Out in the wild. So yes, we do have the advanced mining beam and I have a I have a uh, sentinel ship. Now we're looking for a ship that has a either an economy scanner or it has a, uh, what's it called? A, a combat scanner, something so we can easily find a pirate system. But yes, we have a good one, Gato. It is so freaking good. Yeah, look at this thing. It's just tearing it up. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard to get a, an economy scanner. It is. It's not that hard. The problem is I can't talk to any aliens, so I can't go to like a, uh, a I can't go to a settlement and just buy one. I can't go to the space station and buy one. I have to find it out in the wild. I can't go. I cannot go to the space anomaly and buy one. I have to find it out in the wild, and that's the problem. So the, the two ways to do it are, you can find a crashed ship or a sentinel ship that has one already built in, or it when you find a crashed ship, they always have a distress beacon. Those give you blueprints. So you have to keep finding a whole bunch of distress beacons, find the blueprint, and then I can build one. But I don't have the blueprint, so I cannot make one. Do, do, doom. doom, doom, doom. There we go. There we go. This goes down here. And oh my god, I got so much. Jeez. Okay, we're doing solid. We're doing pretty good. Still haven't found a uh, chart. You know what I need to do? I need to go. If I pulse drive in space, I will randomly run into a. Uh, a trader. Maybe he'll let me sell him all my my storm crystals. That way I can clear up some of my inventory space. So let's do that. It's going to ruin the stream. I know it's going to ruin the stream, but I need to get a trader to trade with me. That way I can clear out my inventory. 
Chris says, you need to be more careful hitting the ground like that. You'll break your jetpack again. I know. I know. I do need to be careful. All right. Oh, my. I don't want to buy anything from you. I want to sell stuff to you. Oh, my God. You're killing me. Well, we're going to give him 300 oxygen. Screw it. I don't want that. What do I get? What do I get? 200,000. Well, thank you, I guess. I want to sell you stuff, though. I don't want to buy trash from you. Uh, Ricey says, how are we going on, Jason? We have a, a we have an advanced mining laser. We have, look at this. It's Ricey, wait a minute. Okay. Ricey, look at this. This multi-tool, I got, an, I have a Sentinel multi-tool. Most of these upgrades came with it. Like, I didn't have to build any of these. I didn't have to buy any of these. I just got them. The multi-tool is amazing. I couldn't believe it. I was like, are you freaking serious? It had everything built in. No problem. No problem at all. It's so crazy. So yeah, we got an advanced mining beam on it. Oh my God, it's so good. So good. I couldn't believe it. I've never seen a multi-tool with this many upgrades from the start. From the start. Like I think I've, I've only seen like two or three, maybe three very rarely. This thing had a mining beam. It had the advanced mining laser on it. It had a mining beam upgrade. It had a scatter blaster and a bolt caster on it. Dude, it was crazy. Now I'm just trying to get someone to trade with me. That way I can get rid of my storm crystals and make some freaking money. Big X. That's a really weird name. And it's unmapped, meaning that's a, that's the actual natural name of it. That is the literal, like, name of the planet. That's a random name. That's the random name. What the crap? That's weird. There we go. Please let me trade with you. Don't sell me anything. I don't want to sell you anything. Just let me trade. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. All right. I can sell all this crap I got stored up in my freaking thing. Sell that. So all the walker brains except for one. We only need one. Uh, we're not selling the exosuit expansion slots. Um, where's my other stuff? I can sell a multi-tool. The only reason I'm selling these is because I cannot use them. On a fugitive run, I can't go to a normal space station, and therefore I cannot use these. So that's why I'm going to sell them. I'm going to sell the salt. Um, we can sell the Atlantium and get some money, but I'm not worried about that. Sell the Storm Crystals for three million! Sell that. Creature pelts. I can always make more. Box of Parched Ooze. Yeah. All right. I think we're okay on everything else. Like, I'm going to keep my Exosuit expansion slots. When we finally get to a pirate system, I might be able to finally upgrade my suit. My inventory in here... All right, I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're all set. And he does not sell any. Oh, he's selling this. I'll take that. Now, nah, you know what? I'm going to go get some more. I don't need it. Yeah, we're good. We don't need any of that. Thank you. I need a better Sentinel ship, big and blue, but <laughs> yes. Hey, look at this. This is a good one. It's blue and yellow. I've got this color scheme I generally don't see. So I like the blue and the yellow. The wings, yeah, they're okay. They're not great or anything. But I'll take the blue and the yellow. All right, we're going to make some sentinels mad. And we're going to try to farm some sentinels, you guys. So we're going to look for... Not that. We can't go in there. So maybe if we find a sentinel pillar, that would help out a ton. However, this is an aggressive sentinel planet. What is this? Oh, it's just a save beacon. Dang it. I thought maybe it was going to be something big and major. All right, whatever. I need somewhere I can hide. I need to find a cave or something because I need a backup and I can't go into a building. 
So I need a cave that I can run to in case the sentinels like start kicking my butt. That's a building I can't go into. That is, is it the same building? Oh no, there's a drop pod. Okay, I'll do, I'll do a drop pod. Drop pod's good. Give me more inventory room. Nice yellow ship. It is, it's yellow and blue. I think it's okay. I like it. Uh, you don't, at least I don't. You don't normally get to see a lot of these yellow and uh, yellow and blue ships. Oh, look at right off the bat. These guys are ready to go, huh? Well, there you go, buddy. You wanted some, you got some. Do I have enough? Oh, I don't have any ferrite dust. Oh crap, I'm gonna need to get some ferrite dust for some ammo. Um, yeah, we'll take that. Oh wait. There we go. I think I made a good choice with the, uh, with the pulse spitter. You guys were right. I don't know who said it in the chat. You said it's pulse spitter versus the scatter blaster. Pulse spitter is better. 100%. You guys are right. 100%. Let's make a... Oh, we have that. We're good on that. Oh, out of range? Are you serious? How's it out of range? It's like right here. You're killing me. Like literally. All right. Get the summoners first. Oh, God. Don't do it with a train manipulator, though. That won't help you. Yeah, look at that. We're just going through. We're bleeding through them all. There we go. I don't have any suit upgrades, so I'm a little bit nervous, you guys. I don't generally do this uh, without any, uh, at least, shield upgrades. You need a couple of shield upgrades just to live through it. Leave the barrel. That way I can pick it up when I need to in an emergency. Get the quad. Oh, God. Where's that quad at? There you are. Get the healer. Whoa, my God. Well, that's the end of that. That's the first one, Beeble Bum. <laughs> oh, God. That's the first one. <laughs> and we're playing on extreme, so that killed it right there. Yep, it's gone. It's gone. Oh, that was a good multi tool as well. <laughs> you did that somehow, Beeble Bum. I think Beeble Bum did it. Well, um. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's all right. That's okay. <laughs> We're going to do it again. Let's go to permadeath. And then everything set to the extreme. <laughs> oh my God. I cannot believe murdered, murdered. Ricey. Uh, he says, suck it, Jason. Oh yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, Jason, you suck. <laughs> uh, please last post. Yep. Oh, dear. Yep. Okay, we got it. So we're all on the most difficult setting again. So everything's all set to the extreme. So let's start again. I got, I got too greedy. I got way too greedy. I thought for sure. I was like, oh, I'll get some good suit upgrades because I can take out the Sentinels. I have a really good multi-tool. Nope. I don't have a good suit. That was the problem. I told you guys, I generally don't try to do that unless I have at least one shield upgrade because you need more shields before you can get destroyed like that. Ah, and we're not on a cold planet, so it's already a bad sign. <laughs> oh God. Oh. We have a cave. Don't do that, Jason. 
I know it's broken. All right, let's, let's just grab some of this stuff while we can. While I'm looking at it. Ah, uh, blame it on Survival Bob. Yeah, it is. It's Survival Bob's fault. <laughs> uh, back to day one. Yep, and we're going to do day one real fast. Well, hopefully we'll get our ship really quickly. How long do you think it's going to take me to get another ship, you guys? Oh, is this a cave? Please tell me this is a cave. It is not a cave. Dang it! I was hoping that way I can just knock that out. So how long do you think until we get our uh, until we get our ship again? <laughs> one hour? Oh god! Hopefully not one hour. Hopefully it's like really fast. Ah, uh, nanites. Okay, that's not a good sign. Oh god, that's not a good sign. Let's get some carbon going here. I'm not getting a lot of carbon out of these little plants. That's not good. Come on. Give me the carbon. I just need 50. That way I can start scanning stuff. Uh, 41. <laughs> God, we're close. We're close. 45. God. Dang it. I know. I'm trying to get my scanner going here. Okay, good. Wow, okay, they gave me a, a supercharged slot. I like that. Okay. I'll take that. Well, let me put my mining beam in there. <laughs> Duh. I'll put the mining beam in there. I didn't even know I had a supercharge to begin with. That helps out. All right, they took pity on me because I died. Okay. That's kind of nice of them. I'll take it. I'll take the pity thing the pity uh the pity item it will take you forever <laughs> whenever i see that i always think of the sandlot forever forever all right jason needs this many days since last incident i do i should i should have that on my freaking stream this many days since last incident I'll take the oxygen. Thank you. Come on. Oxygen on that. All right. Do we have any buildings around? Not seeing a lot. And our, our uh, what's it called? Our ship is over to the right, but we're going to ignore that. We're going north. Carbon and oxygen. I'll take all that oxygen. We're going to need that for our life support for now. Until we can get a whole bunch of dihydrogen and uh, jellies going. I mean, I can't pick it from this guy. Chromatic metal? I will take that. Chromatic metal. Yes. Beautiful. Uh, you should do a fugitive outlaw run, but instead of mining being melee. Oh dude, that would take that would take years to do if you had to melee everything. Oh my god. That would take forever. Literally forever. <laughs> Oh, there's no way. Unless you got super duper lucky. Give me some of that. There we go. Is that a cave? Yep, that's a cave. Good, good, good. All right. Thank you. So let's see what we get out of here. Ogden is more accurate. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Let me get down here. Uh, things gato currently soaking one hand at a time scalding hot water son a lot told me on Friday I can't use paraffin wax machine because it might kill this cockatiel. What in the world? I don't know what is happening here. Mary Lizzie. Why are you soaking your hand in? Oh because of wax? You're trying to get all the wax off. I don't understand. I'm lost Old Explorer says Jason has to survive the game and we have to survive Jason. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly Oh uh. 
Mining beam. Okay, we're doing pretty good. It feels like we're doing decent. Let's see what we got going on here. Decent amount. Let's put some batteries in here. Cobalt, cobalt. There's my dihydrogen. I'll take that. There we go. The heat from melted wax is great for arthritis. I did not know that. <laughs> I did not know that. Maybe I'll try that. I mean, I, I don't have arthritis, so I don't know if it would help me or not. But maybe. I am becoming an old man. Yo. Chromatic metal. Thank you. Get all my chromatic metal and ferrite dust out of there. Beautiful. I love it when the secondary material is chromatic metal because you're just getting... I mean, you don't get a lot of it. Like, I got four, but that's okay. That's more than I, I had before. I had zero before. Get some carbon. Well, to recap, Jason is looking for a ship again, Midnight. Yeah. I got brave on my last one because I had a good multi-tool. So I was like, oh, I'll be able to go attack the Sentinels. That's always a mistake. <laughs> always a mistake. I went and attacked the Sentinels and I got murdered. Hardcore. So, yeah. <laughs> That ended that run real fast. I got too greedy, got too brave. Too brave. For my own good. This is a good cave. It has everything in it. I'm getting carbon. I'm getting ferrite dust. I'm getting uh, cobalt. I like this cave. Oh, Jason died? Who would have thunk it exactly? Oh, it's not a character at all. Jason never dies. There we go. Let's make some more. I feel like 20 is a pretty substantially good number of batteries, but just in case. Let's grab some more. There we go. So now we're set on Cobalt for a while. Be able to get some good batteries while we're looking for our ship. These guys, it's always weird when you see an animal walking upright. That is so weird. And he has wings and a tail. It's like a, he has a dog face. What is going on here? Nothing, 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 nothing. Nothing. Oh, floating crystals they can't get because I don't have any, uh, I don't have my advanced mining beam anymore. Because I had an amazing multi-tool. Amazing sentinel multi-tool that I just sadly had to give away. The sentinels have it now. So, what we're going to do now, I guess, is... Is that a buried cache? It is. Let's see. I need to make a terrain manipulator. Uh, one jelly, two nanotubes. I got to remember the nanotubes. I always make three. I only need two. One, two, and then one jelly. I always make three because I'm thinking I'm making a bolt caster. Bolt caster needs three. Terrain manipulator only needs two. Let's see what they got. Give me an upgrade. Nothing. Oh, indium. I can turn that into uh, chromatic metal, so that's okay. Up, oh. up, oh, building over there. 
Plus, we have a uh, damaged machinery. This might give us an upgrade, so please give me a suit upgrade out of here. I can't type fast one-handed on my iPad, Jason, nor can I copy-paste. Suffice to say, my responses to you is up there. You totally don't, of course. I don't pay attention. You know, Mary Lizzie. You know how it is. All right. I will... Oh, my scanner is uh, broken, so maybe I should fix my scanner. <laughs> I have a scanner upgrade. I need, a, I need to fix my scanner, though. So Mary Lizzie says, Jason, no son-in-law told me I cannot use my paraffin wax machine because the bird will breathe in the wax from the room's away, though two closed doors and die. Damn cockatiels are fragile. Oh, okay. Well, why are you soaking your hand in uh, boiling water if you weren't messing with the wax? That's my question. I could understand if you had a whole bunch of wax, like if you were dipping, but you don't. So why are you putting your hand in hot water? I don't understand. I don't understand. All right. Got to fix my scanner before we scan anything else. Because an upgraded scanner will give me more money. So, of course, you want to do that upgrade first. There we go. All right. Let's fix this thing. There we go. Oh, okay. You know what? I will sacrifice my mining beam for that. Because I will get way more money by doing that. So now, when I scan something, like this, uh, like everything I already scanned, like that animal over there, instead of getting a thousand, I'm getting a hundred and thirty-nine thousand. I will take that. There you go. I just made two hundred and sixty thousand from scanning two animals. God, I love this game. All right, I think, except for when it kills me, then I don't like it. <laughs> So, and animals give you the most amount of money. So, you know, if you scan a rock, it's not going to give you as much. If you scan a, a plant, it'll give you somewhat a good amount, but it's not going to give you the most. 21,000. So, yeah, getting a scanner upgrade early is very awesome. That'll help you out with money. There we go. Got my oxygen. Got my carbon. Oh. Give me that. Look up! I did. I can't go. I can't go all the way up. I can't. Okay, Mary Lizzie, I love you, but I'm not going to stop and scroll through a thousand comments to get to yours. I love you. I appreciate you. It's still all heat. What? Okay. I'm, I'm not going to be able to keep up with it, Mary Lizzie. I got to pay attention <laughs> to the game so I don't die. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'll have to watch that movie yet. I've never heard of it. I guess I'll have to look it up. What are you guys talking about that? Can't touch my stick by bad lip reading? I don't know what is going on. <laughs> we were singing it during the Valheim stream because of bacon. Oh, really? Give me those hot peppers. There we go. Look ahead. I am. I'm looking, uh, I'm looking over here. Let's see. Oh! It's a monolith. I'll take that. I'll I'll take that. Nice. No. Give me that. Oh, jeez, Louise. Okay. Hot wax, hot water. What's there not to understand, Jason? What I don't understand, Mary Lizzie, is you said you put your hands in hot water. I assumed it was for wax, and then you said no. I can't use wax because of a cockatiel. And so I said, well, what? Why? <laughs> if you're not using wax, why are you dipping your hands in hot water? That's my confusion. It's like saying, I ate it. It's terrible. Well, why'd you eat it? I didn't eat the food. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you, you said you put your hands in hot water, boiling water. Okay. Because of the wax. Oh, no, I didn't use wax. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, okay, I mean, it, well, it is what it is. I don't. It's just at the end of the day, it does not matter to me. I just don't understand why you just put your hands in hot water just because, because you like it. <laughs> I don't dip my hands in hot water. I take a hot shower, but it's not boiling. At least not to me. I don't think it is. I don't think you can get boiling. That's my confusion, man. 
Anyone else care to explain? No. Hot wax, hot water. What's there? Okay, there we go. Uh, cause seagulls poking my head. Not fun. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Everyone's got a whole, I got like four different conversations I'm trying to keep up with. I'll just, I'll just let it go. I'll let it go. Let's get these animals. That way get some freaking money. Yes. All right. What else do we got? What else do we got? No animals. I hope we have a plant though. We can scan a plant and make some money. Wax on, wax off. Yes, Mr. Miyagi, wax on, wax off. Wait a minute, do we have a, have a buried cache around here? No. Got some buried uh, technology over there. Nothing, nothing, phosphorus, nothing, nothing. Okay, we're gonna go. I could not give a wax. <laughs> okay, okay. Anyway. Anyway, moving on. Hopefully, what do you guys think the ship is gonna be? Do you think it's gonna be a shuttle? Usually it's a shuttle. I would say most of the time you find shuttles, but what if we find an exotic? That would be amazing. Or what if we find a uh, a solar ship? That would be pretty epic, right? Come on. We find a solar ship to begin with? That'd be so freaking amazing. We got launch fuel, are you serious? I don't need launch fuel right now. I will take this though. I can sell that and make some money. Don't need that. Did you die, Delta? I did. I got super brave. Oh, wait a minute, I got another upgrade. A movement module, nice. I got super brave and I thought I could, uh, I thought I could fight the Sentinels and I was proven wrong. <laughs> I was proven very wrong. Technology there we go. There we go. Wait a minute. Is that my health? Life support. There we go. Life support. Yeah. So I was gonna, I was gonna try to farm some suit upgrades from killing sentinels and getting the glass, or you know, get some, uh, get some a whole bunch of nanites because you can sell it at a pirate station. However, I uh, screwed up and I got murdered, majorly murdered. <laughs> so that did not work out. That did not work out at all, man. And I knew I shouldn't have done it. I literally said right before it happened, I said, I usually don't do this without having at least one shield upgrade. And then boom, I died. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, that's why I usually don't do this. You dummy. Come on, Jason. Uh, gotta make sure you have a, at least one shield upgrade. That way you're safe. At least one, you know, something. What the heck? Do we have two? Oh, just one. Okay. Uh, it's, it, let me do it again. I don't know why. Boom, boom. That's down there. That's over there. That's over there. That's okay. We don't need this fuel. Get rid of that. We'll put that over there. We'll make some more batteries just to get rid of the cobalt. There we go. Sell that. Keep that. There we go. So I'm looking for buried, uh, buried cache or a buried cache because they have a possibility of giving you uh, black market upgrades, the X class upgrades. And those are really, really good or really, really bad. Let's do that. Ah, uh, Beebs, looks like Jason needs a much bigger gun. I had a really good one, but it just wasn't good enough. It was an A class Sentinel rifle with like amazing upgrades on it and I still suck. I was like, oh, come on. How bad can you be, Jason? Come on. Obviously pretty bad. Jason was lied. I was lied to. <laughs> Sentinel glass can give you a shield augment. Yeah, it can give you shield augments or your, uh, you, it can give you bolt caster, you know, upgrades, your weapon upgrades. So I was just looking for that. I was gonna farm a whole bunch of glass and do that. Sadly, I didn't get that deep in. I think I got to wave, what, three, maybe four? No, I think it was three because I just got a quad. Quads just started to attack me, and that quad destroyed me. Nothing. Uh, blames his tools. I always blame the tools. <laughs> That is a requirement. Oh, this is a building. Can't go inside. I am going to take the damage machinery, though. Maybe it'll give me an upgrade. Come on, upgrade. 
always blame the tools. It's never me. It's not like I'm terrible or anything, because I am. Let's go over here. Got this damage machinery right here. Come on. Let me have it. Thank you. Basium! I only need 20 more. <laughs> it's not the size of the gun, Jason. It's how you use it. Well, I obviously don't know how to use it. <laughs> not very good at using it, and my gun sucked. So uh, that was a double whammy. That's a double whammy on that one. <laughs> uh. Here we go. Just trying to use that instead of all my materials. Beautiful. Have any buried caches? No, no, no. Nope. I think. Oh, buried cache over there. Let's go. Oh, God. Let's fall off a cliff and die. No, no, no. We're not doing that. Abandoned buildings are the best for sentinel hunting. I was looking for an abandoned building, but I was dumb. I was impatient and I just, I was like, oh, I'll just use this convenient, uh, what's it called? What I, well, I was around a, uh, a cargo drop pod. <laughs> no, nope, that's not going to be worth it. Let's see what we got. We get nanites. What do we get? Yep. Nanites. Nothing, nothing, nothing. There we go. Sack Venom, but I don't have a glove, so I can't get it. No glove, no love. Uh, Mary Lizzie, I'm sorry to hear that. You were in so much pain. Uh, I will say seriously, Mary Lizzie. Hopefully the arthritis is whatever you're just soaking your hand in hot water. If that works, do it. Don't listen to me. Don't let me, don't let me feel, make you feel like anything. Just no, I'm dumb. That's you should always go with that gut reaction. Jason is dumb. <laughs> so hot water, soaking your hand in there. If it alleviates some pain from the arthritis, do it, man, do it. Nothing. Should I tell Jason that if you sometimes mine a passing ship, they will land? Don't do that. I've already tried all the tricks, Beeble Bum. I'm not depending on that. I am literally just going to go and find a ship on my own. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm not going to fall for it or even try to attempt it. But I know I'll do it wrong or something. I'll do it in a, in a way that doesn't work. That's generally how it works. Somebody quote that. Yeah, Jason, stand still while getting blasted by quads. I wasn't standing still. I took a few steps. <laughs> uh. Give me some oxygen. Oh, man, my hazard protection. Wow. Okay, let's do that. Give me some batteries. Midnight Owl says, Jason Beeps had one turn around while he hit it with a mini. Nah, I've already tried the mining beam thing. I've already tried that. I was I, basically, I wanted to end the run and I was like, dude, I need to die somehow. I'll just shoot one of the uh, flying by uh, ships and you know, they'll turn into a pirate. They'll kill me. They didn't even care. I was shooting them with the, uh, with my mining beam. Nothing. They didn't even, didn't even hesitate. They just left. Turn multiplayer off. I should probably do that. You guys. Yeah, we got caught on that with our, uh, Sentinel ships last time. So yeah, we should do that now before I forget. Because yeah, we were trying to do our Sentinel ships and it just wasn't working. Turned off the multiplayer. I mean, I don't know if it was just a bug at the time or whatever, but turned off multiplayer and it seemed to go away.
Trying to get a good upgrade out of here. Not a ship upgrade, a suit upgrade, if you can. If you please. Or, you know, give me some, uh... Give me some nanites. That's fine, too. Where's my north? There you are. None of you want to land for me? Okay. that you got sniped that time uh the dog beam was too strong for jason he couldn't handle it i couldn't i couldn't it was too much um we'll do this i can make a, a couple of life supports there we go beautiful what the you need to go down here what are you doing what are you doing Nothing. Oh, nothing. All right. Come on. We can find a ship. We will have, have a ship. It'll be great. It'll be beautiful and perfect. It'll be a uh, shuttle that's an A-class. That's fine. I hate that they automatically make you use two instead of just one. A uh, damage machinery. Let's check it. Are you not going to make a scanner? I have a scanner. I literally have it. What do you mean? What do you mean not make a scanner? I have one. I have my scanner. And I have a scanner upgrade right here. That's why I'm making so much money whenever I scan something. What are you talking about? What you talking about, Willis? What are you talking about? Oh. Uh... Jason shooting the ships works. Oh, you guys are teasing me now. Okay, we will shoot a ship. We will shoot one. Make sure we're in a nice flat area. I will do it. I have a feeling they're going to attack me and kill me, though. <laughs> Just for you guys, though. Uh, the one you put down? It did, and it definitely... Oh, you mean a... Uh... Oh, God, what is that called? I don't have it. I don't have that blueprint. Like, I can't. I literally can't. Yeah, nothing. Don't have it. I got to make a base, make a construction thing, do all of that stuff. And, I mean, it'll mark the nearest building. However, I don't like that because you have to go to that building for it to mark another one. So it only marks one at a time. I'm talking about the signal booster. Signal booster. And so, uh, it, you, when you mark a, a location with a signal booster, you have to go there in order to unmark it. And so, I have to go to whatever one they mark. And I don't like that. I like to just... If I had a ship, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't care. But, I don't, I don't want to be jumping, you know, running around on foot from marker to marker. Oh, there's a uh, there's a trading outpost around here, obviously, because this guy's flying in circles. Oh, or a planetary archive right there. Okay. Oh shoot! You guys are messing with me. Why would you do that? He just turned around to shoot me. Oh Jesus. You guys did that on purpose! Oh, God! People bomb, I knew it. I knew it! Never trust the chat. You guys, when you guys tell me something in the future, remember this moment. <laughs> You guys are evil. You guys are evil. <laughs> I knew it was, I knew it was going to happen, but I thought, oh, everyone wouldn't lie to me. Like the whole chat wouldn't lie to me. Uh, 
Now I know better. I'm gonna get murdered. He's not giving up. Like, I'm trying to run as fast and as far as I can. This guy is not gonna give up. Give me that chlorine. It's worth a lot. Yep, I knew it. Jason, have some swamp land in Florida if you're interested. <laughs> I know. I have a bridge to sell you. You know how gullible Jason is. <laughs> That's mean, but it's funny mean. It is. You guys are evil. You guys are evil. I just hope you know that. Evil people. You can't get me when I'm underground, mofo! Uh, give me a second to look at my inventory while he's trying to destroy me. Don't need that. I'll take that. That, that. There we go. Got 132. That's 27,000. That's pretty good. That's more than my Viking. Oh, no. I have two Viking uh, effigies, so it's okay. Boom, boom, boom. Get rid of that. Said someone is here about to die. Yep. He will not give up. He will continue hunting you. You will need to reload. Oh, no! <laughs> That's all right. We're okay, people bump. I will, uh... You know what? I don't have enough to make a metal plating. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to take him down with a bolt caster. I'm going to take him down with a bolt caster, you guys. You guys are going to see it. Real time. Or I'm going to die trying. Hey! I'm... Go after the pirate that's trying to kill me, man! Literally a guy shooting at me and you're worried about me. Come on! <laughs> Freaking sentinels. Uh-oh, I see death. Or was it Saturday? <laughs> Jason's gonna die. Nope. It's gonna be a glorious battle. A man and his bolt caster versus the pirate. <laughs> All right, let's do this. And I'm not even gonna do this underground. You wanna fight me? Come on. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Come on, you. Let's do it. He's just a shuttle. I don't need him. Come on. Come on, buddy. What is it, Johnny Five? Your mother was a snowblower? Come on. Get some of this. Uh, we need some carbon. We need to make some nanotubes. Come on down here and land and fight me hand to hand, buddy. Come on. And it, the winner gets to take your ship. Come on. I wish. I wish you could duel somebody. Like have them land and fight you on foot. And if you and if they die, you could take their ship. That would be awesome. All right, so we need some uh, of these. Two, three. Let's pop this in here. Need some more ferrite dust. Come on. Gotta get some ammo before we decide to go after him. I'm gonna top. I'm gonna go to a, the top of a mountain and I'm gonna shoot him.
There we go. Where are you, buddy? Come on. Come on to the top. Where is this guy? Where are you? Is he going underground? Oh, no, no. He's right there. He is way too fast for me, I think. <laughs> Am I even damaging him? <laughs> I don't even think I'm damaging him. Yeah, I'm not even damaging him. I don't see any shields or anything. I don't see any numbers. I'm not doing anything to him. Like, that's a good shot, too. I mean, I was literally aiming right at him. There's no way I was missing that. Oh, look at you. crashed, you idiot. You idiot. <laughs> Crash some more. Oh, God. Don't shoot the sentinel. Don't shoot the sentinel. Yeah, I don't think I'm damaging him at all. Nothing. I don't think he's damaging me. Like, I'm literally... Like, what if I stand still? I'm gonna stand here. Nothing. Yeah, he's not damaging me at all. Okay, it doesn't even matter. I made all that for nothing. Because it doesn't even matter. He can't damage me. Yeah, look at this. I'm not getting any damage. Yeah. My shields are full. 100% full. All right. Never mind. Doesn't matter. Come on. Keep shooting, buddy. When I find my ship, it'll be great. I will destroy you. Maybe. <laughs> All right, I think you damage him more by throwing your multi-tool, probably. <laughs> I don't think he does any damage. We don't do a damage to each other. Like, I don't think you can... Unless it's PvP. Like, I have PvP turned off. I think. Nope, I have it on. All right, there we go. No one. There you go. They can damage you, but it takes a direct shot. Well, I'm waiting for that direct shot. I was standing still and he didn't do any damage, so he's obviously a terrible shot. <laughs> if it takes a direct one and he still has missed me that many times, it's uh it's basically done for him. He might get a lucky hit. Maybe. Possibly. Well, let's get some upgrades. Maybe we can get some Sentinel or some uh, Boltcaster upgrades. Or a boundary map! Yes! I'll take that. <laughs> Do you think it's gonna... You know what? That will... We're gonna, we're gonna go wherever that is. Hopefully it's not that far away. Be like 10 minutes away. Be like 10 minutes away. Twenty-eight is doable. Twenty-eight is doable. If it was over an hour, I wouldn't even care. But twenty-eight is a doable object. I can get there in twenty-eight, less than twenty-eight, because I can walk there. And if you do your jetpack boost, it actually goes faster. See, now we're at twenty-seven. Yeah, we're going faster. All right, we got it. We're good. Maybe the sentinels will attack him if I get close to them. Go, go, go! Like when Superman ducks when gangsters throw emptied out revolvers at him? That's true. 
You'd think you'd be like, okay, I mean, your bullet doesn't hurt me, but your gun, okay, yeah, that's the thing. Maybe all the guns were made out of uh, kryptonite. That's why Batman, or that's why Superman would duck out of the way. Uh, two hours. Nope, you guys are wrong. 28 minutes. And I mean, technically now it's only 26 because I'm, I'm going up a hill, so it's going to be a little bit slower. But once I go down the hill or down the mountain, it'll be easier. I'll be going faster. Because, yeah, it slows you down when you have to go up. Any buildings around here? Nothing. Nothing. Maybe the Sentinels will take him out for me. I'll run over there. Oh, look at that. That's a plaque. I don't need that, but it didn't mark it. That makes me nervous. I like how the Sentinels aren't doing a dang thing about it. They're like, oh, well, this guy's shooting him. That's fine. Go. It's going downhill soon enough. <laughs> hey, hey, people. <laughs> downhill soon enough. I don't know what you're talking about. This is all uphill, baby. All uphill. All right. No need a defense chip. Really? Maybe I'll get one randomly. I'll get one out of the, uh, the damaged machinery. So that would be great, wouldn't it? Oh, you're a freaky looking thing. Maybe he'll kill an animal. <laughs> and I'll get the, uh, I'll get the meat and everything from him. And I'll be like, I didn't do it. The guy next to, you know, the pirate did. Here we go. Twenty-one minutes. I'm not seeing anything around here. Oh wait. What is this? I can't go without looking. I need to see and check it. It could be a ship. Or it's a beacon, that's fine. I don't care about a beacon. I've never seen someone get chased on foot by a starship. Dude, you'll see a lot of, of uh, I don't want to say dumb, but not smart decisions <laughs> when you watch one of my live streams. Oh, yeah, just shoot, you know, shoot your laser at a passing ship. That won't anger them and make them attack you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Jason, you fool. All right. Twenty minutes. Did you pay your sentinel taxes? Nope. Living on the edge. Exactly. Oh my god. Oh, there's a. Oh, he did hit me. He hit me on that one. All right. He did a like what? A quarter of my uh, shield got damage on that. That's okay. I could take a quarter. I'll take a twenty-five percent damage. That's fine because he's not doing it more than once. So that's fine. Get out of here. Make sure not to get damaged before he hits me. Why are you investigating? I didn't do anything. That rock got in my way. Oh, there's another plaque. These don't really do anything, and they're not off limits for a, for a fugitive run. However, they don't do anything, really. You can learn a word. You can learn where the location of a uh, an ancient ruin is, but it doesn't really give you anything. Uh, Jason, Husbeast and I are talking about a weekend vacation to Colorado to um, try things. Any particular cities other than Denver that are good and not so high up that bothers my heart? Um... If you're going to be in Denver, 
Thornton is up there. That's really good. Uh, Boulder is right next to Denver. That's a really cool place to go. If you come to Colorado Springs, that is a little bit higher. So Denver is called the Mile High City. It's at 5,000 feet, but 5,280 feet. But Colorado Springs is a little bit higher. So if you come down south to Southern Colorado, they are, we have like Manitou is, is very, um, Manitou is very cool to visit, but it's a bit higher. I think we're at 6,000. So we're higher than Denver. Not by much, but we are a bit higher. In, uh, if you come down south. If you're in Denver, yeah, I would say Boulder and Thornton, definitely. Boulder and Thornton. And Thornton's kind of up there, though, so it might be a little bit out of the way. Uh, Castle Rock is a really cool place. It's right south of uh, Denver. It's a really cool shopping center. There's a jail there, so be careful of that. <laughs> Don't pick up any hitchhikers over in Castle Rock. That'll get you messed up. But other than that, I mean, yeah. Manitou is pretty cool. Manitou is pretty cool, but again, yeah, if you're, if the uh, altitude is going to mess with you, we are a little bit higher than uh, Denver. Not by much. Again, maybe 500 to 1,000 feet higher. I've only ever been to Denver and Breckenridge. There you Breckenridge is pretty cool. You can go to Aspirin if you really want to feel, you know, if you want to... Yeah, that's a little high-end, and they're a little uptight there. They're, they're not going to... If you go to Aspen, you're not going to be able to experience all of the highness of Colorado, if you know what I mean. But, like, uh, Boulder is good. Uh, you know, Castle Rock is good for that kind of stuff. Manitou is really cool about that stuff, too. Manitou is really cool. Um, yeah. Other than that, I mean, you know, go to Pueblo. They have really good chilies in Pueblo. Really good Mexican food, if you like that kind of stuff. If you come to Colorado Springs, rent a car because it's going to jack up your alignment. All of our roads are terrible in Colorado Springs. <laughs> shield module! Yeah! I got a shield module. Thank God. We got some good upgrades on this run so far, you guys. Holy cow. All right. Not messing around with the Sentinels. We're good. go uh check to make sure you're alive jason you've inspired me to start an outlaw run dude chris do it it's fun it can be aggravating it can be frustrating if you don't like that higher difficulty definitely not for you but i love it i think it's fun you know uh scar tech only if uh, jason plays invites me i don't have a laptop um visit jason and then you two could do a q a style video together hey there you go there you go, Lizzie. I don't know what your plans are. And I, um, uh, what are you? Uh, weekend vacation to Colorado. Uh, depending on when, but I do have family coming out. So I might be busy this coming weekend and next weekend. I think the next couple of weekends I'm done. I don't know when you're coming out, Lizzie. The next couple, I'm a little bit busy. Other than that, though. And then, uh, you know, when Starfield comes out, I will be busy with Starfield. <laughs> Other than that, though, recharge your shield before you battle. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely going to have to get some animals uh, to recharge my health because I have one less uh, health bar now. This guy's terrible. How close are we? We are 10 minutes off. Easy enough. Speaking of that, oh, there's a building over here. We've been running into a lot of buildings between, you know, where we were and the Sentinel pillar, which is kind of nice. Let's see, what is this? If this is a, if this is a uh, crashed ship, it would be amazing. Right before we get to the pillar, so good. And no, it's not. It's just a save beacon. Dang it! Uh, microprocessor. I'll take that microprocessor. I need to fix it if I get a broken ship. Hope you celebrate your anniversary before September 1st. Oh, yeah. Our anniversary is in March. So we are good on that. 
Don't worry, believe me, I would have already been making deals. <laughs> I would have been like, hey, I know we have an anniversary, but <laughs> I would have been making tons of deals already. But thankfully, that's not till March. So we're good on that. Are uh, we making any progress? Nerdy body ba bagger. Almost. I mean, we have a sentinel pillar. I'm hoping that we get a good multi-tool out of it. We don't know. You never know until you get there, but hopefully we get a good multi-tool out of it. I will say we've gotten a lot of good upgrades trying to find a ship, so... A lot of good uh, tool upgrades, or uh, suit upgrades. We have a, a shield, we have a jetpack upgrade. We're doing pretty good. But yeah, nothing so far. No crashed ships. We have a guy who's just trying to murder me. Oh, there's something down there. What is this? What are you? Oh, that's a market. Yep, that's a little orb down there. So it's a communication station. So I can't use that. He is never going to give up. Wow, okay. More nanites. How many nanites do we have? We have 500 nanites. We're doing good. There we go. Pop that up there. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Look at this! We got a base here. Can I take it? We have a base computer. Well, that's great. Where's this guy at? Where you at, man? Did he give up? Oh, no, there he is. <laughs> he just took a little bit of a longer route to get back to me. Nice. I know. Somewhere in there, Hasbis will have to make a work trip to Dallas. Oh, my God. You're going to Dallas from here? Oh, God. Uh, August is pretty full for us. Then September, we're driving to the Mall of America. Okay, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Nice. See, I have all my uh, I have all my stuff happening now. That way, we basically try to clear out September because I know September is going to be insane. And then I think August might be a little bit busy for uh, for an update for No Man's Sky. So we tried to get family out earlier to kind of come visit and hang out. You should reload because I think the ship is blocking pilots from landing anyway. Off to bed. Oh, I should probably do that. Well, I want to get to the uh, the Sentinel Pillar. You know, and then we'll do the Sentinel Pillar. We'll get our multi-tool, whatever it happens to be. It'll be free, so it doesn't matter. Hopefully it has a good, uh, a good, like, advanced mining beam or a good tool or something like that on it. I got you. But yeah, so either way, though, we'll probably have to reload at the Sentinel Pillar because, you know, <laughs> it's going to it's gonna be rough. All right, and thank you for hanging out, people. I'm seriously, man, I know it has to be late over there. Yeah, it's probably already midnight or 1 o'clock in the morning or something. Late, late, late. Jason got rickrolled. I did. Oh, yeah, just shoot the uh, pilots to land if you shoot at them. Okay. No way. That is not how it worked. <laughs> oh, all right. And I like how the Sentinels don't care. I have a guy shooting me in a ship, and they're like, ah, that's normal. That's fine. That's good, right? Yeah, that's good. Don't need that. I need my shields. We are upgraded, right? Our multi-tool. Yep. Got our scanner upgrade. Must be already bought Starfield, but I refuse to buy a second copy since there's no multiplayer. Oh, dude, yeah. If you if you already have one, then you don't need more than one. 
You don't need more than one. And especially, uh, Lizzie, if you have an Xbox, you get it with Game Pass. So you can just download it whenever it comes out, you know, on September 6th. So you don't need more than one copy. I got more than one copy because I am, you know, dumb. <laughs> but that's only because I want to play it early. You cannot play it early on Game Pass. You can only play it early if you pre-order it and you have to pre-order like the super deluxe versions of it. All right, let's see. What are you guys thinking? Do we have a good multi-tool in here? Good night, Beeble Bum. It has a bolt caster in it. It has a supercharged slot. It's a C-Class, but it is a pineapple. It is a pineapple. Oh, wait a minute. Dang it. I, I, I canceled out instead of taking it. Jason, if you're not dumb, you're game aggressive. Well, there's that too. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, sad trombone. <laughs> Haven't been able to use a controller in five years. Mary Lizzie, you can you can hook up a mouse and keyboard to an Xbox. Not every game supports it, but I have a feeling that a Bethesda game will support mouse and keyboard on Xbox. A lot of games do, but not every one of them does. Not all of them do. You can play early with Game Pass. You just need to buy the premium deluxe super upgrade. Well, yeah, you can if you have Game Pass. You do get a discount for buying the upgraded version, but you still need to buy the game rather than just wait for it to release. So yeah, my multi-tool, you know where we're gonna have to name it. It's a pineapple revenge. Uh, check to make sure you were alive. Yep, there's a special pre-order for Starfield in Game Pass that says you can play it early. Oh, really? Well, yeah. Special pre-order. You have to pay for it, though. So, I don't think there's a way. Maybe there is. I'll have to look into that. I don't think there's a way to get it for free only on Game Pass. I think you still have to pay an additional fee. So, if you only want to play it on Game Pass, like not pay anything extra, you're going to have to, uh, you're going to have to actually pony up a little bit of money. Wait a minute, I think that was, yep, that was just a second ago, yep. Name it Beeble's Fear, yeah, it's $35 pre-order, yeah. So you get a discount, don't get me wrong, it's a discount. But you still need to pay a little extra on top of your Game Pass subscription. I don't want to shut down the Sentinels till after I do it, because if you reset, it'll, it'll reset your Sentinels as well. So I want to... Basically, turn off the Sentinels after I reset it. So, and then what we can do is... A bolt caster. What? Oh, yeah. Okay, I do have a bolt caster on there. But we're going to switch it over to this one, because that has our best stuff on it. It's a C-Class as well, and it has a supercharged slot. But I want to make the uh, Sentinels angry. That way they all fly in. And then turn them off. That way they're all close to me. So there you go. That's an easy way to do that. Good, good, good. And then we could do this. Yeah, I think it's better to do it. Yeah, better to do it that way. Yeah. But me, I'm going to buy the game outright. Scar, I did both. I've already I've already bought it outright. And I have, I bought, I don't want to admit too much. My wife might be listening. I bought two copies. I have the Super Extreme Deluxe Edition that comes with the watch. I have a regular premium edition. And... I'm going to be playing it on Game Pass as well. <laughs> so I'm going to be testing it out to make sure everything works right. I'm going to be using it to my advantage. Oh, there we go. Boom. Beautiful. Let's do that. Do that. 
and add another one. So now we have two weapon upgrades. Look at that. Fire rate, reload time, damage and reload time. So reload time is going to be quick. Yeah, that's quick. Okay. So now we're not going to fire at any pilots flying around. We're going to just run and try to find a good ship. So we've already scanned those guys. Uh, don't forget that like button. Exactly. Thank you guys so very much for everyone hitting that like button. 300 likes. You guys are freaking amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for all the likes. Uh, isn't the wife due home any minute? Eh, in about an hour or so. But I generally like to uh, to end the stream. That way I can make some dinner and stuff. That sometimes doesn't happen. And then I blame all of you. <laughs> I say, hey, Midnight Owl made me. <laughs> he made me do it. He forced me to. I couldn't stop. Midnight Owl, ScarTech, he made me do it. It wasn't my fault. I didn't choose to stream for, you know, five or six hours straight. It was them. They made me do it. <laughs> and she always believes me. <laughs> no, she does not. Uh, all right. Oh, let's grab some more chlorine. Okay, I guess. Get some more of this, so we can make some money. I don't have the Game Pass, so I'd have to buy that and the uh, $35 expansion. Yes. So, Mary Lizzie, and that's only if you that's only if you want to get it early. So, if you want to just get Game Pass, get the uh, if you get the console version, there's there's different tiers of Game Pass. So, get the medium tier that gives you all the brand new games for free in addition to your Game Pass. I think it's like 10 or $12 a month. If you want to get it early, you have to pay an additional $35. But if you don't mind getting it on the uh, sixth, uh, five days later, you can totally just have Game Pass and you're good to go. But if you want to get it early, you have to pay the additional $35. And that's 35 US. I don't know if you're US or if you're Canadian. It might be more uh, expensive in Canada. Because of, you know, the whole, like, uh, money transition, whatever. So, the money equalization. <laughs> but, if you don't want to get it early, if you don't mind playing it on the release date, and that's it, not early, you don't have to pay anything extra at all. Just get your medium tier game pass. Sentinel free Gravitino balls now. Oh, yeah, duh. I should have done that. Dang it. I have been skipping them. I've totally been skipping them. Dang it. Thank you, Mark. Totally been skipping them. I mean, I don't... I, well, actually, you know what? I don't see any Gravitino balls. I mean, I could just, just run around and do whatever because, you know, I don't need to worry about all the Sentinels because I turned them off. go we have any uh buried caches around here oh there's a building over here let's go check this out i know we're zigzagging around but i want to i want to get check all the buildings you know i'm in iowa jason i you know i never know i never know I, I, I always I make that assumption and all of a sudden everyone says, oh, I actually moved. And I was like, oh, dang it. Like, I, I know, uh, like, I kept thinking that uh, Tina was in Germany still. And no, she's not. She's in New Zealand now. And I'm like, oh, okay. Is her time difference changed? But yeah, just like, okay. I, I don't remember. I'm so old. I forget, Lizzie. I forget. Uh, you can hit a ship with the mining beam to make them turn her midnight. I don't even want to hear it, man. <laughs> I know what you guys are trying to do to me. All right. Inventory is getting kind of full. We need somebody to land. If anyone wants to land, that'd be great. Oh, that's up. Oh, we can't use that, but we can get this damaged machinery while we're here. Uh, 
Uh, zigzagging is fine, just not circling. I know. I try not to, and I'm, I'm, I have my compass, so I know where north is. I can kind of follow that a little bit. You know what I'm going to do? What if I... What if I, uh, flatten this out a little bit? And just wait. Wait for somebody to be cool and land for me. You want to land for me? Come on! It's all flat just for you. Look how beautiful this landing area is. You know you want to land so I can sell some stuff to you? I don't think I'll be able to buy your uh, your ship, but, I mean, you know, it would help me out if you landed here. I know, I'm purposely doing that. Come on. There we go. Uh, moved here in 98. Same house since 2005. I'm the one that packed and moved us across three states. This family can't even sort laundry without my help. There's no way they could pack up and move us. Oh, okay. Hey, you know what? There you go. There you go. You don't have to worry about it then. You're good. You're locked in. Move all this. Don't need that. All these stacks of, uh, that stuff we don't need. There we go. So 52,000. That's not a lot. 400, 400, 28. We need all those microprocessors. We're not selling that. You can sell all that, though. You can sell this. We don't need the uh, launch fuel, so let's get rid of it. Um. Okay, we're good. I don't think anyone's going to land here. Yeah, just a hunch. Nobody's going to land here. Oh, ah, kept me talking forever. <laughs> oh. Give it a little bit longer. Let me scan some stuff, maybe. Get a little bit more money. I mean, we're making 20,000 for a rock. I like it. All right, I guess. Okay, we have a, one more animal we have to find. Where is it at? Underground, always active. Of course he's underground. It's going to be in a cave somewhere. I would shoot at one of these guys, but I don't want them attacking me. <laughs> uh, nothing found. Well, that's great. Hydrate, Carol. That's a good idea. I only got a little bit of Pepsi left, so I'm going to drink that first. Ah. I mean, again, not bad, but not my favorite. Pepsi, pineapple Pepsi, not bad. A little bit of uh, some cold uh, pineapple pizza. <laughs> if you shoot them twice, they totally land. <laughs> ah. Real hydration. Cargo drop. We have so many. We've scanned everything just because I'm getting more money. 
I think we're basically done. Yeah, I scanned that already. Did I scan the exploder? I did. What dropped me off at the credit union? I cleaned up a mood boxes and the girls in the van. Any wonder why my hands are shot? Well, other than genetics, yeah. Heck yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do though, Mary. You gotta do what you gotta do. No, uh, no. Oh, there's a building over here. Would you be able to find a base computer again? And are you able to use it? Uh, in this run specifically, no. We can only build a base in outlaw systems or abandoned systems, and we can only build them uh, in a cave. So on our uh, fugitive runs, you you have to base, basically be off the grid. You have to hide everything. So a random base computer out in the wild is gonna is gonna get me in trouble. They'll catch me. So I cannot use that. Give me all the sodium. Beautiful. Hopefully this is a uh, crashed ship. And it's a uh, solar. Come on, give me a solar. That is not a solar. Oh, it's a drop pod. I'll take that. Oh, God. I'll take a drop pod. So we need some uh, sodium nitrate. We're going to need to do pop this down for a minute. Pop some sodium in there. We'll just do all the sodium. Because why not? Get in here. Thank you. We need nanotube. Oh, no. And we need... Oh, God. We need to get a whole bunch of materials here. So we need carbon and we need ferrite dust. We have our... We have plenty of oxygen. Um, that's not good. It's on fire. No. Why is this on fire? This is not good. All right. Do we have enough? Are you serious? We just barely don't have enough. Killing me. Always off by like two or three. Always. That's how I work. That's how I do things here. Be off by two or three. Uh, copied. Can someone on PC copy paste the first part of that response, please? Starts with the uh, six months pregnant would drop me off at the credit union clean and uh, and did one packing while six months pregnant the second one we lived in uh, new england for 18 months or nebraska nebraska probably and then when we moved houses i was in college working nights with a seven-year-old and a three-year-old would pack during the day then husbeast oh would drop me off at the credit union okay husband would drop me off at the credit union got it there you go there you go. Um, I guess we're doing that. Dun dun dun. Got it. Burning down the planet. Seriously, basically, I gotta get him here. My refiner is hot, 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 hot. Um, did I make a nanotube yet? I did not. Let's do this. There we go. That's okay, Jenny. He caught on. I did. I caught it. I caught it. I caught it. Up in the middle, because I don't like the, the hole in the middle of nowhere for my inventory. And then I got to do the left side over here, and then over there, and then all this. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Why are you doing that to me? There you go. There you go. We almost got a hundred chromatic metal from just going after the rocks. I love it. I love it. All right. 
I gotta keep going. Let's see what's in here. Give me another microprocessor, maybe. Or live support gel. I'll take that too. That's good. See, you're smarter than you think. I am, and I'm braver than I believe, too. Uh, <laughs> just in unique ways. <laughs> I am. I am. I am smart in all the ways I don't need to be. <laughs> there we go. And Jeremy, thank you so much for being a member for three months. Jeremy, very awesome. Thank you so much. And he says, always enjoy the streams, even when lurking. Well, thank you. I appreciate you, man. And yeah. You're lurking. I know some people are at work and doing stuff or they're busy, you know, doing laundry, cleaning the house, whatever. Outside working in the yard, whatever happens to be the case. I appreciate all of you guys hanging out. Very, very appreciate it. Oh, monolith. We could go use a monolith, you guys, because that might give us a uh, blueprint. So let's go do that real fast. So a plaque doesn't really help you. A, an ancient ruin. I mean, you can get cool stuff out of an ancient ruin, but it doesn't give you any blueprints. The monolith can give you blueprints. So it's always beneficial to check out a monolith just in case. Now, it's not a guarantee. Sometimes they just give you a reward and you're done. But, you know, like they, they teach you a word or something. Or maybe they'll give you a multi-tool. But sometimes you can, uh, you can get a, uh, a technology blueprint upgrade. Like an advanced mining beam. Or uh, probably teleport receiver because we haven't gotten our ship yet. Here we go. How did I not get this one? Did not work if I run while doing it? Jeez. Okay, to learn the Viking word for I. Smarter than the average bear. Exactly, Mark. Exactly. I could feed some of my mind elements through it. They can come into... Oh, no! Which one are we supposed to do? Condensed carbon, I guess. That's the most, like, fancy stuff in here. I am rewarded with a word. Well, great. And launch fuel. Even worse. <laughs> Thank you for the launch fuel for the ship I do not have. You're awesome. All right. I appreciate you, Monolith, for giving me a freaking... Uh, what's it called? A freaking uh, ship launch fuel. Where is it at? There you are. Let's see. Get rid of that. Oh, we got some emerald. Great. Hmm. There we go. Thank you. Let's see if we can get a technology upgrade out of here. Come on. Or we get nanites, that's fine too. Yeah, we're getting pretty high up there and our inventory is getting stacked full of stuff. Up, oh, unknown building. Always up for an unknown building. You don't know what it's gonna be. Uh, check to make sure you're alive. Thank you, Streamlabs, very much appreciated. And man, I don't wanna ruin anything, knock on wood, but Today has been kind of nice for the internet, guys. Holy cow. Hmm. Maybe me complaining on Friday on stream made them fix it. I doubt it. <laughs> but you never know. Maybe they're listening to everything we do. And they're like, oh, yeah, well, maybe we should uh, fix Jason's stuff. That way it actually runs well. Oh, uh, no. Oh, geez. Bounced off the ground on that one. Just to say, Beacon, well, thank you. Don't jinx it! I know, Scar. I didn't want to mention it too much, but yeah, I know. It's just like, I'm looking over at my meters, and I haven't... There's been no problems. Usually, we'll do, like, a little bit, like, a, a two or three second drop. But I haven't had one yet. Not today. Not today! Maybe it's because I'm failing so hard. <laughs> They're like, yeah, 
It's okay. No one, it, no one needs to uh, miss all the times Jason fails. All right. Um, we're gonna have to start making some decisions here because we're getting way too much. Okay, we'll get rid of that one. Yeah, we have way too much inventory going on with not enough room. Um, that's worth 28. We need all the microprocessors because we're going to need to fix our uh, hyperdrive when we get a ship. Well, let's go. Uh, staying alive? Good song. Yes, exactly. Really likes to talk about his good luck so he can rage again. I know. I know. I need to talk about how good it is. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's all, everything's lining up. It's all perfect. Nope. And there's a plaque. We don't need a plaque. All right. There we go. And again, they're not off limits or anything, but they don't help you. That's why they're not off limits, really. <laughs> Honestly, that's probably most of the reason why they're not off limits. It's because, you know, they don't do anything. Nobody wants to land and at least let me sell some stuff and clean out my inventory? Come on! I just need a clean inventory. Uh, buried cache. Do we have any room? <laughs> I need to refine this into chromatic metal, so let's do that real fast. We'll do that while we're getting this buried cache. That way. You can do two things at once. Flatten it out a little bit, though. I have a little cave going on. I know. Oh, yeah. Technology I picked up all the, uh, I picked up all the frickin' dust. All right. And, Emerald, we're turning you into chromatic metal. Thank you. I'm gonna grab this. Hey, hey. Now, there we go. Let's see what we get out of here. We don't need this junk. We get nanites out of there? Yep, we did. We got nanites out of there. It's 5.30, Jason plays. It is. It's 5.30 my time. How did you know that, Ancap? You know I'm in mountain time? Another midnight stream? No. <laughs> We're gonna have to end pretty soon. I just don't want to end without finding a ship. That's the problem. I want to get a ship. All right, 217. We have our multi-tool. We have upgrades going on in here. What else can we do here? That's good. That's good. I mean, yeah, we're basically there. So we got room for two more items. Maybe if we find another, uh, what's it called? Another drop pod. We can get some more inventory room. Up, oh, there's another building over here. Let's see what it is. Come on! I live six hours south of you in the teams in the same time zone. Oh, really? Are you the one down in uh New Mexico? You're in Las Cruces? No. That is a shelter. Yep. All right. Don't need that. Yes. Okay. Yes. I remember that from the stream. Okay. I just didn't put two and two together. Too hot down there for me, Ancap. Too hot. If anything, I'm going to go north. That way I get, get to the snow. <laughs> That's what I want. Just more snow. Cold constantly. If it was under uh, 70 degrees all year long, it needs to be between about 30 to 40 is where I like it to be. That's where it, st it starts being cold for me. 30 degrees, anything under 30, okay, it starts feeling cold. Anything above 70 starts feeling hot. So between 30 and 70. 
I got a 40, a 40 degree swing Fahrenheit, obviously Fahrenheit. I got a 40 degree area that I love. You know, if it was 60 degrees and rainy and snowy all every, every day, I don't know how it would be 60 and snowy, but you know what I mean? If it was either 60 with rain or 30 with snow, I'd be happy. I'd be a happy man. That's what I love. Uh, drop pod. Oh, look at That's a settlement over there. I can't do anything with that. Can't go talk to them. But there was a settlement. Oh, we got random fire. Yeah, 105 late. Dude, we got up to 96 today, and Cap, and I, that's too much for me. 105? Nope. No way. I don't want to deal with that. Not even a little bit. No, sir. None of that for me. Are you joking? I don't have carbon nanotubes or wiring loom. Might as well just delete the dang thing and get the materials back, but I don't have any room in my inventory for that. <laughs> ah! All right, there's a building over here. Let's go to this one. I even have a shield upgrade, and I still got damaged. Come on. 96 is comfy. Yeah, dude, seriously. That's why I'm like, nope. It is currently 70, uh, 76 in my office because it's 96 degrees outside. My air conditioner can't keep up. That's the only reason I need to get two air conditioners and a fan and just have it all blown right on me. That way it's like 50 degrees in my office at all times. <laughs> that would be way too much though. That would be way too much. There is a uh, shelter over there, great. And a, uh, oh, look at transmission tower, great. with some shelter. Oh, look at that. That is, look at that. We have a, a crash freighter, a transmission tower, and then a friggin' shelter over there. And that's all in one line. What the heck? That's kind of crazy. Well, let's go to the, let's go to the, uh, what's it called? The uh, crash freighter. What was over here? Oh, we got some more. We have some room for some chlorine. And we got a little bit more. Beautiful. We have a stack of 361,000. I'll take that. Stop for me. No. Keeping my apartment at 70. I mean, that's ideal, but I mean, there's a certain point when it just starts getting way too hot and the air conditioner just can't keep up with it. I, I think I said this on the stream the other day, but my office, if I don't have any, if I don't have anything going, no fans, no anything, my office uh, will get up to 98 degrees in the summertime, which is blisteringly hot for an indoors uh, place. It's crazy. And so just having an air conditioning will drop it down to the 70s, but I mean, that's as good as it gets. So dang it, you know, when, when it's hot, it's hot. My house is just the way my uh, my house is situated. I'm in the top level. I'm in the uh, second floor and I'm on the sunny side. So my uh, my direct uh, my direct office just that's where all the heat goes. Let's see if we can get anything out of here. I don't think we will, but maybe we'll get something really expensive. Do we have any room? Oh, yeah, we got three slots. Oh, we have this food I haven't been using. What the heck? Um, okay, we have three slots. We're good. We don't need the feces. Don't need the living slime. It could be 100 plus of me. It will stay in the 60s inside my house. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. I just have the I have the the bad room because every other room in the house is fine. My bedroom, fine. The guest bedroom, fine. 
Everything's fine. It's just my office. It's just a weird spot of the house. It's probably the uh, insulation above it is probably terrible or something. I don't know. I'd have to get someone up there to actually look at the insulation to see what the heck is going on. But yeah, it's just this one room is terrible. There we go. I need a carbon nanotube. I need a wiring loom. I need to get an upgrade. One of you guys want to give me an upgrade? Come on. This one's going to give me an upgrade. That'd be good, right? Get rid of that. Boom, boom. A multi-tool expansion slot. That's not useful at all. I was already in there. What? What? Uh, there's an unknown building to the south. What is this unknown building? A hundred feet away. Is it a ship? Are you serious? Oh, thank God! Yeah, and it's a fighter. It's a terrible fighter, but it's a fighter. It has good wings on it. Okay. I will take this. Guys, we got it. I didn't want to end the stream before we found a dang ship. Wait a minute. Uh, signs of life. Learn my, uh, my teleport receiver. Let's claim this thing. Yeah, it doesn't, it's not the best, but hey, you know what? I'll take it. We're going to swap it out for our old one. However, we're not going to get anything for it. We're just getting rid of our old starter ship because it's been bugged. So we're going to swap it out. Yes, I know. We're not going to use anything from it though. So nope. All right. Thank God. We got all this stuff. We can move over to our freaking inventory. 17. But dude, we were right on the edge. Right on the edge of being basically just done. All right. Let's see if we can get an upgrade out of here. Upgrade! I was right. Wow, Daniel. Yes. We got it. We got some nanites out of there. That's fine. Get some more money out of here. Beautiful. Get some of this stuff. So yeah, we're good now. Now I can make a, a hermetic seal, metal plating, whatever we need to fix up the uh, engine to get out of here. And we need chromatic metal. I have that. I don't have the sodium nitrate. What? How do I not have the sodium nitrate? Get out of here with that. All right, sodium nitrate it is because I want to make sure I have a shield. So if I get attacked, I don't die. All right, so what else do we need? We need chromatic seal, metal plating. We can do that. No, uh, dihydrogen. Got that. Launch thrusters are done. We have the chromatic metal for this. Beautiful. Hyperdrive is ready. That's ready. We're about to do that. Um, we need a we, we need a uh, metal plating, so we need some more of this. Oh God. We need some more ferrite dust. Beautiful. Nope. Give me the little baby rock. Thank you. Uh, did you wait to look for a pilot first? No. What I usually do, uh, Mark, is I scan. If you can scan the ship, then it is actually uh, it's yours. You can take it. So if you if you see a ship and it's smoking like that. If it comes up like that on your scanner, that means you can take it. If you can't, it'll just say broken ship find pilot. That's how you know, oh, there's a pilot around. So that's an easy way to do it. You just scan it. And if you, if it comes up with any stats at all, that means you're allowed to grab it. So that's why I did that. Metal plating. Protection, 
Oh wait, we need to get our stuff out of here. Need to fix this. Beautiful. Shields are done. Done, done. We're good. Remove this down here. That way the shields are linked. Battery. Life support shell is basically gone. There we go. I mean, we're good. Let's go. I know, we're fixed. Yeah! So now the first thing we, we do, let's look around in our uh, in our system to see if there's any good uh, any good planets. We're also gonna pulse drive a little bit to see if we can get a, uh, a black market seller to buy our stuff. Any good planet? Is that a good one? What is this planet? It is a overgrown. That's a good one. That is a very good one. Okay. Do we have an overgrown? Oh, we have a whole bunch of planets here. I just can't see them. Where are they at? Are they behind the planet I was just on? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they're probably all back there. Unknown planet is a windswept. Okay. Let's see. Up, oh, there's a moon over there. We can get to that one. Oh, we gotta go in the first person. That way I can get that little tiny moon over there. Oh, dang it. Right there. Let's see. It looks like an icy moon. That is a freezing moon. Okay, freezing moon and an overgrown planet. Perfect. What is this? Unknown planet over here. What is this? Uh, Arctic planet. Okay, so another frozen one. A uh, webbed planet. Okay, so we have an anomaly planet. We have our scalding that we just came from and our windswept. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go over here to the overgrown planet. We're going to run around over here a little bit and see what we can scan. Maybe we'll run into a pilot. That way we can sell some stuff, clean up our inventory. Now go kill that shuttle. I should, Midnight. I should go find him. That dang guy just trying to murder me that whole time. <laughs> uh. Um, selling that. Oh yeah, we need to look at our ship. What can we sell? Or what can we fix? Paraffinium! We can fix all this. Oh yeah. There should be paraffinium. Yeah, there's paraffinium on this planet. Looks like we're going to be fixing this ship. I hate that they automatically mark the uh, teleporter if you don't want it. It's like, no, let me mark that. I don't care. I don't want it. Come on, somebody. You want to? You want me to sell stuff to you, right? Come on. Come on. We might have to just go land on the planet and start uh, fixing our, uh, our inventory because we need paraffinium. We can fix that. We have the chlorine for this. Well, let's do that real fast. Um, chlorine anywhere? That's going to be one. Anybody else need chlorine? Platinum, platinum. Uh, magnetized ferrite. Pugnium, pugnium. Let's do all this, I guess. Now remember, once you fix it, it's, you don't have to fix both of them at the same time. You just have to fix one, and you can always come back and fix the other. Activated copper. Chromatic metal. Uh, pure ferrite. We can do that. And I think we're good. Okay. So there we go. Now, this is not a paradise planet, so there's going to be superheated storms. However, 
There's not aggressive sentinels, so I don't have to worry about sentinels coming after me every five minutes, which is nice. I like that. You just got to worry about the storms now. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I was thinking of doing a uh, premiere, my first ever for my birthday stream on Twitch once it uploads on YouTube. Is three-ish hours long? It's too long for a premiere. No, no, no. Lizzie, usually for a premiere, you want it to be longer because you, on YouTube, you want to think of a premiere like a uh, type of live stream. The longer it is, the more people are going to see it, the more people are going to join it. Now, you know, you don't want it to be like 10 hours long. Don't get me wrong, but... You don't want it to be 10 minutes long either. They don't do well when they're shorter. So you definitely, three hours should be good enough. You can get in the chat and kind of hang out with people. For a premiere, that's generally what you want to do. You want to get in the chat and, you know, chat with people as they're watching it. And kind of, you know, let them know in the chat. And the more people will join up, the more people are chatting, the more uh, YouTube will notify other, uh, you know, other people who subscribe to you. All that kind of stuff. So definitely, definitely, three hours is not too long. That is a plaque. I'm probably flying too fast and not high enough. Oh, there's a big old uh, crash freighter over there. Beautiful. What is this? What are you? Looks like just a save beacon. Great. And look at it, the, the crash freighter just disappeared. Now it reappears. Thank you. I'm landing on the landing pad just because I know it'll uh, it'll help me out a little bit. Don't have anything there. Repaired, repaired. I don't want to use all my chromatic metal, so we're going to save that. Repaired that. Repaired. Platinum, platinum. We need a whole bunch of platinum. Paraffinium. We need a ton of paraffinium. That's fine. Chromatic metal and wiring loom. Good lord. Um, oxygen dioxide. Uh, activated copper. I can focus on chat instead of trying to play in chat. That's true. There you go. Ah, okay. Yep. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. You, you want it to be longer because YouTube is not very good at notifying any subscribers. So... It, like, there's a lot of people who, they won't get a notification for a video until 10 or 15 minutes later anyway. So if your video, you, if your premiere is only 10 minutes long, people might not even get the notification before it's over. So you want it to be longer. That way people get notified. So, in general, whenever I do a premiere, I try to focus- Oh, look at it, we got a Warp Hyper Core already! Thank you! I try to do one at least a half hour long, maybe even an hour at the minimum for a premiere. I treat it like a live stream. Fill that up 100%. Thank you. So yeah, just think of it as like a live stream that you're not actively doing. You're in the you're more active in the chat. Salvage data just one. That's not worth it. Okay, two. Okay, I guess. I need to make some... I need to make an escape route here. All right. Boom, boom. Heat capacitor. Okay, that's good. That's definitely useful. Oh, I need to make some life support gel. Oh, I don't have any. Oh, dang it. Um. There we go. I needed more than I need that, so we're good. Alright, so now I'm alive. I can go get some more dihydrogen this way. At least I saw it was this way. Maybe not.
Uh, sentinels are... Observant! Okay, so they're not active. They're not, like, coming after me. Good, good, good. They're not aggressive. Where's my... Where's my blue crystals? Just gotta figure out how to set it up. Uh, YouTube offered me partner. I'm missing one requirement. 3,000 views in the last, uh, two, well, months. Thought maybe doing premieres might help. Oh, yeah. I think it will. I think it will. 100%. Because premieres... Premieres are really, really good as long as they're long and people, you know, jump in. So you definitely want to promote it before it happens. Make sure... Don't, don't schedule a premiere 10 minutes before it premieres. You want to give it... Just like a live stream, you want to give it notification time. So, for me personally, whenever I make a live stream, I try to make it at least an hour ahead of time. So I know that, oh, if I'm streaming at, at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, I will put up the video at noon, or at least, you know, an hour before. That way, YouTube can kind of warm up to notifying, notifying everyone. Notifying everyone. And then, you know, you want to make sure it's a long enough one. That way, people can jump in and notice it when they get notified. So definitely do it beforehand. That way people get ready for it. Uh, Pablo, hello. Welcome to the chat. Heck yeah, Pablo. Where's my, uh, where's my crystals at? There they are. Why couldn't I see these before? I guess I'm just crazy. I can't see any of this stuff. All right, we're doing this so I can get my terrain manipulator back. And also maybe get an extra one. That way I can do some, uh, some more life support gels. <laughs> you know, just because. I love that upgraded scanner. We're getting a lot of money doing that scanner stuff. Loving it. And we haven't even sold any of our, our, uh, our items yet. All right, so let's see. Make it one, two. Put back in our manipulator. Oh, I need one. Oh, I need one more nanotube. Are you serious? You only gave me back one? Ah, oh, that sucks. That's all right. And then we'll make a life support gel while we're here. Thinking about it. There we go. There you go. 180,000 right there for it. I do like that I don't have to worry about my hazard protection every five minutes. That's kind of nice. Running around this planet trying to find stuff to sell. Trying to find paraffinium. Like that. That way I can fix my freaking, uh, my ship. Um, where's the other one? I think we're in here. Yep, we're in here. There's always one in here. Where is it at? Where are you? Oh, you're over there. Over there! There we go. Weird. Lost the stream there for a second. Oh, that wasn't me! That was you! Ha ha! I mean, you know, not, not to laugh at you, but I always get worried when someone says, Oh, I lost the stream or the stream dropped out. I'm like, oh, crap, that's me. No, 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 it wasn't me that time, it was you. I got nothing. I got no notifications. Excellent connection. Yeah. That was all you. <laughs> all right. Let's see what we got for our uh, inventory. We got five of these. 250,000. There you go. We're making some money here. Let's go get some paraffinium. We need a whole bunch of that, so we're going to stack our inventory just full of paraffinium. Let's do a dive off the end of this uh, thing over here. Maybe I can make it to the paraffinium from here? Oh, I think I can. Definitely can. Come on. Got to land right on it. Right on it, bullseye. Boom! Yep. Right on it. There we go. 
Jason twisting that knife. I'm not trying to. I'm just excited it's not me for once. I, that's all that is. It's not me for once. Because it usually is me. <laughs> My dang connection. I'm telling you. One day, when they finally get fiber in my area of Colorado Springs, it's going to be amazing. I will be so freaking happy. Number one, I'll be able to load upload videos way faster. But number two, I won't have to worry about my dang internet dropping out every five, you know, at random. Like, oh, sorry, today it's not working. <laughs> like, well, great, thank you. I didn't, I didn't want to work today anyway. I'll do it. Hundred and thirty nine thousand for that. Man, we were making so much freaking money. We're up to one point three and I haven't sold anything yet. Fiber is the way, dude Moose. I can't wait till I get it. I have not had fiber, but man, everyone, I have people I have people in town. Who, who, like, live on the other side of town, and they're like, oh, yeah, it's so great. I'm like, screw you. <laughs> I hate you. Why do you have it and I don't? Uh. One day, though. It's coming. It's coming soon. One day. It'll be great. What do we got here? Oh, capitalist, because I'm getting all that money. 100,000 100, for a bird. I love it. This is not a good paraffinium deposit, you guys. That's not good at all. It's like half rock. Not good. How much do we have? Um, we have 282. And we're needing 150, so we'll need 300 just for those two. Another 300 there. So 600, 750. We need 750 paraffinium, and we have 200. Definitely need to start working more, get more uh, paraffinium going. Copper deposit, paraffinium deposit, buried cache. Scan some of these uh, trees and stuff. It is pretty nice not having to worry about my hazard protection constantly. Uh, I'm still on cellular modem. Midnight says beats DSL, but still some people out there have five gigabyte AT&T fiber. Dang it, dude. I almost, almost paid for 10 gigabyte uh, business internet. The only thing stopping me is that it costs two grand a month. That is outrageous. There's no, there's no world I live in that I'm going to spend $2,000 a month for internet. There is no way, no way. But man, that sounded nice. I was like, are you serious? They're like, oh yeah, we have a business package if you want it. Cause I, I called and I said, Hey, look, I need the fastest you got. I don't care if it's business. I don't care what it is. I need to upload and I need to make sure it's stable and I need to make sure it's fast. And they said, oh yeah, we got you, man. We got 10 gigabytes. You can get 10 gig. And I was like, okay, let's do it. That'll be $2,000 a month. Oh, never mind. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> I spoke too soon. No way. Erfinium, copper, cobalt. Copper. Okay, there's no paraffinium. Wait a minute. Copper. Copper. Okay. I said paraffinium, but that's not. I was looking for paraffinium. Good lord. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just calling out random things now. An infinite power. I know. I know. Seriously. 10 gig? I mean, like, that's insane. That is insane. You could download everything. Instantly. Oh, you want a movie? We could do it that we could do that in about 10 seconds. <laughs> full movie, 10 seconds. You want to download a full like a, you want to download uh uh the Call of Duty 100 gigabytes? 
Don't worry, we got you. Got you covered. It'll take 10 minutes. <laughs> what? Death by inanimate rock. Yep. Two th 2k a month for a uh, yep. Hell no, dude. I know. And that's why I was like, there's no way. No way. Not getting 10 th or 2,000 for me, even if it is 10 gigabytes. Number one, I don't even think I have my, my PC couldn't handle 10 gigs. I'd have to buy a, a literal networking card to handle 10 gigabytes. That's no, I'd have to literally install a 10 gig card. And then number two, <laughs> I don't even think any website handles 10 gigs. Like there's nobody, nobody. Uh, if I upload to YouTube, they'd be like, okay, sorry. We max out at one. <laughs> where, where, what are you going to do with the other nine? <laughs> there's no way. Unless I was transferring files to somebody. There's no way I needed that, that speed. Like literally transferring it like to an editor or something like that. Then it'd be useful. I'm, I imagine there's, there's cases where, yeah, you need 10, but not mine, <laughs> not mine. Give me Pirate Bay back, please, dude. Get LimeWire. Get with the times. Gotta go LimeWire, man. Now we can download a virus. And it's so slow that you don't know it. <laughs> you spent all night downloading that new Metallica album. And it's not even the Metallica album. It's a virus. It's like, oh, great. Thank you. <laughs> I always wanted to infect my PC. It's a lot of porn to watch just my dude. Seriously, <laughs> you can watch all the porn, everything. All right, let's do this first. The the, uh, the cargo is what's going to increase your your uh, value of your v your uh, your ship. Oh, I need more paraffinium. Dang it! We're getting there, though. We're getting there. Magnetized ferrite, platinum, platinum. But yeah, if you want to increase the value of your ship, upload or upgrade your cargo. Your cargo is what gives you the value. Dun dun dun. Okay. Can't really do anything else to any of this other stuff. I mean, maybe the pure ferrite. We can get a whole bunch of ferrite dust. Yeah, that's why we, that might be what we do here. Let's just do this. Oh, wait a minute. You need to make sure there's room in your inventory to pick it up, idiot. And we'll take the ferrite dust and we'll refine it into magnetized and pure. go now this is the one big benefit that uh, a sentinel ship has they can hover so they don't move they can just hover in place every other ship has to be moving forward even a little bit like this so you can't just stay in one spot and just get everything around you you have to literally uh move forward just a little bit look at that little pool right there okay that's kind of cool this is a uh, looks like a manufacturing facility yep we don't want to mess with that all right slow down let everything load in Come on. I circle this little crater here because there's a lot of rocks in here. Get all of that ferrite dust. There you go. Look at that. Boom. Oh, yeah, we got a ton of ferrite dust. Yeah. Okay. Is 
There we go. Interesting way to play. I'm gonna watch and see what happens. Elrad, yes. It's a fun, it's a fun experiment if you're into uh, really extreme difficulties, like really difficult games. I love playing like this. It's so much fun. Um, we're gonna go to our ship inventory and get all of our ferrite dust and refine that into pure ferrite, and then we can refine that pure ferrite into magnetized ferrite. And this guy just wants to hang out, that's fine. While that's refining, let's go over here. We can uh, scan some underwater uh, plants, get some more money this way. Any other, any other animals? Let's look. Uh, four animals, and they are uh, ground underwater, underwater. Let's see, we have three underwater animals. I don't think this is deep enough, though. That's the problem. You need deep water to find your animals. That's all right. There we go. And here I test. Oh yeah, can't do that. You got to make sure you only have 150. Is there a site or page that lists all the No Man's Sky game challenge modes? I do not know if there is, JJ Brew. I hope so, but I don't know for sure. Yeah, Janet, they told me I was available when I bought this house. They lied. No! AT&T uh, got me. They said I could get fiber soon, so I signed up with them. Kept having uh, trouble. Finally talked to a tech online. He told me AT&T is only lane fiber for new neighborhoods and businesses. Dude, yeah, I know. Every time I, uh, whenever I'm walking around a store, you always see those, uh, those, so, those people who are selling. You're like, oh, what, what, what service do you have? We can sell you better service. And I'm like, nah, I'm good. I already, I'm good. I don't need it because I know you're not going to come to my area. You know, like, oh, we're coming there soon. It's like, okay, talk to me when you're there. When you're, when you say, hey, we already have the lines. We're good to go. Then you can talk to me. Don't tell me it's coming soon because it never does. It never does. Uh, boom. This goes down here. This goes over here. There we go. Okay. Just trying to organize a little bit. Oh, yeah. We can probably fix one of our slots here for our uh, magnetized. We need 100. Paraffinium. Magnetized. Where's my uh, gold? Oh, pure ferrite. There it is. There we go. And actually, let's do that. Boom. First thing I do is get a bunch of scanner upgrades for 200, 300k per scan. That's what you want to do, man. I mean, and uh, for this run through though, it's really hard because you cannot go to a space station on a fugitive run because they'll catch you. So you have to really get lucky and either when you get to a pirate station, which is really hard to do, or if you're running around and looking at the, uh, the destroyed and broken machinery, that might give you an upgrade. It might give you a scanner upgrade. So that's why we're looking at those. What do we need for our ship? Do we need a hundred? I think we need a hundred. Yeah, we need a hundred uh, magnetized ferrite to get that thing open. So we just need a little bit more. There we are. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred. There we go. I don't want to give too much of my inventory away because I need I need the room. So we need some paraffinium. We don't need all this. Good lord. All the silicate powder? We don't need that crap. Get out of here. Um, okay, I think we're good. Paraffinium? Paraffinium? Where are you? Nowhere to be found? Cobalt? Well, 
Let's see if we can get someone to buy our stuff. We, we have way too much stuff going on. Let's see. We need to pulse drive around a little bit. We can also get some, uh, some tritium and stuff. So let's go do this. All right. For a fugitive run, you cannot follow the storyline. However, you're allowed to answer the call so it can go away. You just can't follow it. You can't go do the mission objectives. So that's why I'm going to answer it. I don't care. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you, Artemis. Get out of here. And then we're going to ignore that. We're not going to go on that mission. Because we don't want the authorities to catch us. Artemis is a secret agent. So these crystals right here, they will give you platinum. So let me see. We'll wait till everything stops showing up. All right. So my uh, my stuff is all done. Oh, gold, because I ran into that. I'll get some platinum out of there. Beautiful. Um, or gold. No, give me platinum. I don't want gold. I don't care about the gold. Give me the platinum. There it is. There's some. I mean, you don't get a lot. It's not like you're going to get, like, buckets and buckets full of platinum. But you will get a good amount by going after the crystal-looking asteroids. You want to go after those. Dun, dun, dun. And if you crash into an asteroid, it will give you the materials. But, you know, you'll damage yourself. So you don't want that. Um, we got a decent amount. Uh, it's random now, is it? Oh, I thought it was always the crystals. What? Don't come after me. Okay, good. It's a level three threat. We don't want to mess with those. Hyper cluster. Where are you? Do that. And make sure you have room in your, your uh, ship inventory, because Lord knows if you don't have any room... They can't put it in, you know, your suit or anything else. I mean, I'm getting a good amount of platinum. Yeah, I'm up to 40. We almost have enough to, to unlock one of these upgrades already. Look at that. We're one of the uh, slots already. I like it. We're doing decently. Uh, used to be. It's not anymore. Yeah, dang it. I'm old, I forget stuff. Or things change and, you know, I don't adjust because I'm old. Still, I still look for Tetra Cobalt. We don't have it anymore, but I still do. I'll catch myself every once in a while like, ooh, underground. I'm going to get some Tetra Cobalt. Nope, can't get it. No more Tetra Cobalt. Get that one. Yep, got enough. Let's do it. Let's open up one of those. Beautiful. Got some more again. Beautiful. Got a good amount of gold. I am not going after anybody. I don't have the I don't have the ship capacity to do that. Alright, let's boost a little bit. Let's see if we can get a uh, a merchant to show up. Come on, merchant. Come on, merchant. Um, gold and there we go. Oof. Plus fifty. Come on. So when do you do a scan? The tritium nodes show up in space. Yeah. So if you do a scan, you'll see a green. 
They should show up. Like, these usually are. But they should show up. It might not be showing up because I have an enemy in my way. But anytime you do, you'll see, like, a green note that says Tritium Rich. In general, if you really absolutely need Tritium, just stop for a second, look around. There'll be a little floating asteroid out in the middle of nowhere. Go after that thing, like this one right here. And more than likely, it'll give you Tritium. So there you go. If you absolutely need some. But yeah, I don't. I think they might just get rid of that because at the end of the day, you just shoot any asteroid and more than likely you'll get Tritium. For the most part. Not always. But your odds are very good that you will. Come on! Anybody want to trade with me? Seriously? I got so much crap in here I need to sell. Like, seriously. I am bleeding through a lot of tritium. Good lord. They were not... Yeah, I might need to kill him just to... to reset it. It's just not going anywhere. Yeah. Oh, going through the ring. Oh, God. Uh. Well, let's land over here. Oh, there's a building over here. What's this? This is a uh, just save beacon. Oh, no, it's a market. Can't mess around with that. That is just a save beacon. Well, it's good. I guess we're landing right here. Oh, what uh, starship do you have? Jim Bob! I have a fighter. I have a really bad fighter. Not a terrible, but it's a broken fighter. C-Class. We just picked it up to get off the uh, starting planet. But, I mean, it's decent enough. It works. It gets the job done, and that's all that really matters. So, guys, I am going to call it there. We played for way too long today, but I wanted to get a ship. I wanted to get some stuff done, so we did that, thankfully. Hopefully, you guys liked the stream. If you did, hit the like button, and we are going to raid Delta 1. So, Delta 1 right now is just doing a chill stream in No Man's Sky. So, more No Man's Sky if you're into that. Thank you so much for everyone watching, everyone hitting that like button. You guys are freaking awesome. And I will see you over at Delta's stream. Thank you guys so much for hanging out today. And I will see you guys next time.